Great. And of course, I'm. Mmm. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Huzzah! I learned a long time ago that there's no sense getting all riled up every time a bunch of idiots give you a hard time. In the end, the universe tends to unfold as it should. Plus, I have a really large penis. That keeps me happy. Woke! Woke! Yeah, it looks like Chuck's taking the skin boat to Tuna Town. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. My mind is a raging torrent. Flooded with rivulets of thought, cascading into a waterfall of creative alternatives. Cow oh, darn it, Mr. Lamar. You use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. You're right, Dan Basque. <laughs> that was a pretty good gay singer. Uh, congrats. Uh -huh. And this is on gay. Hail, Dan Basque. Subna Nerdrotic. Welcome to the real <laughs> BBC. <laughs> Bagging, boarding, and chatting. The idea of as from heels versus baby face. Oh, uh, oh. Good friend of Disparu. Disparu. <laughs> Dispura. The name is Heels versus Dis Babies Dispura. Faces. Dispura. Okay. Dispura? Dispura. I had that for tea last night. It's a beautiful exotic blend of spices and herbs. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah, a lot to talk about today, actually. Uh, the lack of talk about Loki, other than on Twitter, over one clip. But I don't... Where are the Samba TV ratings for that? <laughs> Sure, dragging their feet on that one, aren't they? Maybe they're waiting I, for 30 days of viewership. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be a fly on the wall for when they're like, Ahsoka underperformed. Okay, Marvel, what have you got? A sequel season to the season that did well. Sweet, let's go. How are the numbers? Oh, oh. nobody cares. What's going on? Hey, this show's really important. You need to watch this along with three other shows and another movie to watch the Marvels. So I'm starting to wonder if Kevin Feige even knows what's happening in these shows himself. Like, well, 
as you brought up to me in the private DMs, our, our whisper network, uh, there's a book out right now. Uh, Bounding's already done an article on it, and uh, I bought it. I'm going to read it. That confirms a lot of what we believe, and my God, it might be worse. <laughs> it might actually be worse. So uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, the, uh, the SAGs are still on strike. And it looks like they will be for a long time. So that talk of Hollywood getting back up running probably around January is probably correct. Probably correct. Uh, we also have a special guest joining us that we'll get to in just a moment. But first, yeah. hello, Az from Heels I versus Babyface. Heels with an S. Ah! 11 and a half years. Do you not fucking read? It's like listening to Jeremy from the quartering trying to say my channel name. Um... <laughs> If you share, can you share the image? There is a uh, new Echo News. They have changed. Ooh, wait, that's a show I haven't logo. heard much about. Echo. That's that. Hey, hey, we're that. not we're not blind. <laughs> we're not blind. This is a show that's about the deaf only people. Sense she's got left. Yeah. <laughs> but I was looking at the original one, and I'm just like, what is what? This is the sun, and this is just. Field. It's very Star like, Wars. Well, yeah. I was, was going like, to say, well, it looks way more Star Wars than Marvel. Yeah, yeah it, it looks does. like Star Wars or the Eternals or something that just isn't like. Why would you have? We want to have a field. logo that doesn't yeah. associate with Marvel. So when we drop it in the middle of the night, <laughs> I so don't you think steal the Last of Us instead. You steal the Last of Us font and do Echo. Do you think Echo is going to be released like on a weekday at six? p.m. pacific time or do you think it's going to be three in the morning all episodes at once pretend it didn't happen what's the worst day for television in the united states saturday night it'll drop saturday yeah. at <laughs> three o'clock in the morning i was about to say 3 a.m yeah saturday uh, night. so yeah uh, echo all right then next topic <laughs> echo <laughs> Can't I'm wait. so jazzed about it. I have no opinions other than ones I'm told to have. Yeah. Um, well, um, it's based on a character who was originally drawn on the covers to look like Gina Gershon uh, from around the early Bendis era Daredevil days. Uh, and she kind of looked hot. So they didn't do that at all in the book. And they got uh, an indigenous person but that wasn't enough. They needed to check more boxes. So she she's uh, uh, got one leg. She's a deaf, dumb, and blind kid. She sure plays a mean pinball. Mean pinball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the Tommy of Marvel. <laughs> I'm feeling positive about this one. So she's female. She got one leg. She can't hear. Whoa, whoa, and whoa. She's missing a leg. She's missing a leg. She's got a prosthetic. And somehow she was able to chase down freaking Hawkeye. <laughs> Wow. Beat him and freaking beat him. And Hawkeye had to be saved by Kate Bishop. I really, I didn't see that coming. Does she have one of those? You, did, you didn't hear it coming either. She, she didn't either. Hey! <laughs> They're just trying to give this series a leg up. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to tip your waitress and order the filet mignon. This is some wild stuff, Ed. She's missing a leg and she's deaf. Huh? Yep. And she's a superhero. Now, she had like a Stark Tech leg. Okay. <laughs> you know, oh. but uh, <laughs> Mahler's out. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> Wait. But like Mark on. the Cyborg's Stark leg is more is more technically advanced than hers. So Wait, is her leg nanotech then how come they and couldn't it, give her a full leg because remember when roadie lost his body and somehow they were able to give him a whole one again yeah that was called a skull uh, uh, that was a scroll she was a, she scroll. Scroll, she didn't have enough idiot. She was a scroll <laughs> god oh damn you know it. on that note gary apparently um <laughs> when making avengers they like offered to joss whedon to throw in scrolls or kree as the invading force and he apparently was like no Make it like the Chitari, so I don't have all the political baggage of a whole sci-fi planet coming here to Earth for some reason. I was like, because he was, I was, was having these things read out to me. And I was just like, that's so funny. 
that they would just be like, yeah, suddenly the scrolls attack Earth in Avengers yeah. 2012. How insane would that have been? Well, it, you could have, like, say phase three or four could have been the full Kree scroll war. Yeah, kind yeah. of a big deal in Marvel Comics, kind of rad concept that you could have made 10 movies on easily, but no, you just made it an immigration allegory in freaking Captain Marvel, and then another allegory in Secret Invasion, including A Strange Kind of Love. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's a way better idea than the actual Kree scroll war from well, the it Avengers. Work anyway, all the good Marvel characters are gone. Yep. And apparently, um, Whedon threw in Thanos in the post credits as like a fun little nod. He, he had no intentions on anything beyond that. That's where that's how it kind of all started, right? You know, the 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 little throw on at the end of Iron Man. Yeah. You know, they they did they they weren't sure it was going to work, and they bet like they bet the house, literally the house, on this thing working. They they put up their characters as collateral uh, on a loan to start the MCU. So. It it worked despite like Hulk not making a bunch of money, but Iron Man was such a hit. It worked. It worked, and uh, now it, it works so well. It saved Robert Downey Jr.'s career. Before it, Iron Man, we just saw him as a drunk junkie who broke into yeah. people's houses. <laughs> the yeah. best years of him. Now that's Ezra Miller. Yeah, Ezra doesn't have the sort We're of charisma that RDJ had. Yeah. We're saying this like Tropic Thunder didn't do great for him. As Tropic well, Thunder, be the best Robert Downey Jr. movie, hands down. Oh, kiss, kiss, bang, exactly. bang, too. So. What do you mean, you people? Ah, uh, Shane Black when he's allowed to make a movie that's good. Yep, kiss, kiss, bang, bang, good like stuff. Those days. Well, uh, it's, it's funny because the nice guys is also really good, and it's like, wait a minute. So he just needs to make buddy cop sort of detective yeah. fun yeah. movies. Let yeah. him make them. Lethal Weapon. Hello. <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. It's so funny. It's like just let him make them. Never let him get anywhere near an IP that is like fantasy or sci-fi. Keep him away. Uh, hi, Muller. Hello. I don't really have anything to tell you other than that book is interesting information. <laughs> Streaming Lords of the Fallen with good old Az and Metal. That's a that's a fun another Souls game, Gary. You love your Souls games, you, I, you don't Oh you? yeah, do I'm a gamer. Yeah. Yeah. For long game. And I've heard rumblings as there's a new Lord of Ring Golem out there. Uh what? What? Like King Kong game has been released and apparently people are calling it a scam. It's so bad. The King King Even Kong. worse than Golem? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know about that, but I've seen clips. We've been at it because everyone's like, surely these guys are going to stream it, right? Oh, like, wait, that King Kong one. game that looks like absolute dog shit. It looks like absolute, and it's, and it's like full price. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, it's like a Disney show. Yeah, if you Google like <laughs> King, if you Google King Kong scam game, you probably find it. Well, hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm putting King Kong on Steam. Rise of, no, right, oh, Rise of Skull Island, yeah, yeah, I, uh, Rise of Kong, Skull Island, Rise of Kong. That's the oh one, Oh my yeah. god. It's reduced on Steam. Uh, oh, how, it, how much I percentage? Meant, I meant, when I say full price, I'm saying today. Is that they are charging like it's a fucking normal game. If you look at it, you'll know what I mean by how Okay, right, that I'm buying be. it right now, chat. I'm buying it right <laughs> now. Can, can I just show you guys the one cutscene they've taken a pic, like, this just looks like Sure, yes. Graphics. <laughs> <laughs> it's Az. No! Az. Az. He's like saying fucking pronouns. Oh, like, like fucking pronouns. <laughs> it's so, it's so, game is so overtly bad. People are saying it's a scam. <laughs> like, I'm buying it before it gets pulled. Dude, I'm buying it. Yeah, I bought it, it before I got pulled. It's as probably well. <laughs> it's probably like laundering Ukrainian money. <laughs> 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 Have you got any of the clips on this? Uh, uh oh, it has the trailer. Uh, oh, the trailer. Trailer. Find the clip. The trailer. There's um, there's an article that has like three clips from the game, but I when I saw them, I was like, oh, sold. This looks brilliant. So I'm gonna stream it straight away after the real BBC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my let god. Me, let me uh, as we speak. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. Right. Uh, hey, you I'll job. have you know that I was gamming this weekend. I gamed. Oh. I did. I mm -hmm. played, I, pl I uh, hooked up my PS2 in my gaming room and I played Return of the King. Hey. Return of the King. It was Ooh. freaking off. It was curious. great. What was did, that? How far did you get before you couldn't get any further? I got, <laughs> that game's I, not easy. 
Well, it is in the beginning, Mahler. So, like, I was doing oh, dan- the tutorial. Yes, yeah. I'll give you that. So, I burned through that pretty easy. You know, you just hit the <laughs> main <through> tutorial. <laughs> and then I had a little trouble. So, I gave up afterwards. <laughs> Dude, it's, uh, that game is co op. Uh, that's what I'd love to you play. You guys should with play someday. it with Gary. I'll play it. Ah, I, it's a I, PS2 I had a game. good Yeah, it's a PS2 game. I freaking loved it. Oh, I loved it too. You guys have to emulate it. He plays Gandalf in Return of the King. Is there's probably mm-hmm. uh, that's what my son said there's probably some emulator out there. My son's an actual yeah. It's gamer. difficult to do on the internet, or whatever, but it's possible. I think. I think it's possible, or screw it. I'll just put my phone up and <laughs> kick it at my gaming room. That'll be highly entertaining. R- right. The last time I saw Gary gaming, he was playing The Witcher, wandering around aimlessly as <laughs> as laughed profusely in the background till his face turned beet red. I was immediately worried that he was going to have a culinary collapse or something from the moments of sheer carnage. <laughs> I would have gone out happy, Gundam. I would have gone out happy. Oh, that's my com- favorite was Gollum. <laughs> Hot, hotter, hotter, cold, cold, cold. <laughs> yeah. hotter. We ended up, yeah. we ended to, help, up yeah. to play hot cold with Gary. <laughs> I need to s- Gary. I need to I can't s- see where I'm going. Why don't you maybe move the camera so you can? <laughs> Did you guys force him to play Elden Ring? Because you could at least join his world and watch him go down. Dude, that would be fun. Gary wouldn't be able to get past the character <laughs> creation screen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. He, he could would make it him. past that. He would get lost. He could just pick the uh, fault. He'd get well, lost on the tutorial. As let's let's do the Witcher the again night in the next two weeks. Him. Sure. Let's do that. In the next when I get back Whoa, next week. Shit. Let's do The Witcher again. Let's do All right. Ah. Four, 420. Oh, I forgot to turn the mic off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, the camera. Oh, the mic was on. Oh, the mic was on the, the whole time. The mic was on the whole time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I thought you, like, got, like, Fluffy stepped on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's I got to t- keep the dog away from weed. She's a thief. That Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, animals like that stuff. And, and getting kicked in the balls are... St- your pet stepping on your balls that's a totally different sound x-ray girl i don't know i don't have a little those. more high pitched a little more high pitched. x-ray girl just be glad you don't yes yeah. i'm so glad i don't <laughs> uh hello uh white people X-ray hello to my fellow white people um <laughs> Uh, I made a vlogging video for the first time. So Thank if you guys you. want to check that out, that was uh, that was really fun. Um, I, I don't like editing, but it's all it's all part of it, I guess. But but um, it's very cute and wholesome. If you're into that, if you're into that. Are you into wholesome Asian women? <laughs> Tune in later. Uh-oh. White people. Gundam knows I am. I, I, I send my private simping. Wh- which, to- which, which part has to be the wholesome part as? None. There's a lot wholesome about um, <laughs> what's her name? <laughs> Yumi. Yumi Chan. That's it. Oh yeah, you, Yumi? Yumi's just like oh yeah, she's like very wholesome, and you just want to fucking destroy her. <laughs> Wait, is she like a YouTuber? Yumi you Chan. You see how fast it turns? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, you as will send you a photo of this girl, and you're like, yeah, she's cute and all, and then he just goes into the darkest direction. <laughs> I want to defile the darkest direction? like a bag of crap. I didn't like. know directions could be dark. <laughs> oh, directions can be very dark, okay? <laughs> Wait, erections <laughs> or direction? Well, erection. <laughs> erections can be dark, too. I've been, like, sending I'm Gundam glad. a picture of when I go... Do you know anything about this this uh, last sheet? She like paints Gundam models and stuff like that. And Gundam will be like, oh yeah, that's Yumi Chan. Oh, like she's a Gundam model painter. Yeah, as well as other modeling. And oh. uh, you know, she's <laughs> Yumi Chan. She she does this. She does that. You know, she's got a community. And then I'll just reply about, I want to fucking destroy her. <laughs> okay, I like... smash her back doors in Gundam. I I, I mean, uh, yeah. oh, and then man. I immediately back send door? him the model kit the of her in a bikini that I have. I, I I don't I can't find this Umi Chan. Oh wait, I think I found All right. her. Yes, pull her up quickly. I think I found her. I see why Az <laughs> likes her. Also, she's Pre- a genius. Share it, share it, share the picture. Share the picture. Does, Which does, one have you got? Does she have um? She has know. gigantic breasts. Does, she got, has. Yeah. They're absolutely you, yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah, that's Umi Chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's okay, get where the model where, where has it been uh, mostly watched? 
Oh, um, dang it. Oh, my, yeah, right there in the middle. Just yeah. cool, but right mine even has a film grain at 12 minutes, 52 seconds. I'm just saying. That's a... 12. Oh, there okay. I go. Yeah, yep. I, I understand now. Yep. No, you don't we fully understand. understand. You have now. to go to the bikini video. Yeah. There's a bikini video? Okay, let's of just course. say oh, there's, there's, oh. I've got an idea. Enough of an idea. <laughs> Look, he's biting his fist. I am. This is a man. I have love. all the ideas uh, right now. I've one. never seen him this passionate since the pronoun video. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and hey, we'd like to welcome back to the show, Papa Gundam. What's up? Oh, you know me. In trouble with YouTube again. Talking small vinyl figures of my dog just to get lunch money. You know how it is. <laughs> so cute, though. Welcome to the, the thug life. I don't know. Boo -doo. Boo -doo. Content. Boo -boo. It's a hard time in these mean streets. These picking mean at content streets. cotton. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Yay! It's a fluffy. Ten days left before I... literally you tunes will yell at me like there's no tomorrow if I do not meet their minimums. Those bastards. How could you not meet the minimum? Look at it. It's adorable. It's so I, they were telling me I needed to do videos like this. I probably shouldn't say it because it'll probably get me in trouble, but uh, I'm already in trouble. Like this dirty, filthy hipster that looks like a goddamn junkie. Chic. Wait, what? Junkie <laughs> chic. I can't even show you this guy's YouTube channel, but it was just so insulting. What? What did they say? Oh, I needed to emulate his selling style. The dude couldn't phone it in more than... No, I'm not going to say that joke either. Because I don't want to offend the person. They probably offend themselves. It's fine. Uh, you know, uh, we'll link it in the chat. It, it's fine. You got to get by somehow. Next up, I'm selling coffee, baby. But this time, I'm going <laughs> to pick the beans myself. I'm here. Ooh. People are like, Gary, Gary, I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to import the coffee from Japan and then rebag it. There you go. I probably Ooh. should have said that when we were not on live. I'm pretty sure my coffee uh, comes packed with something else, but uh, Geek Grind Coffee. I'm just kidding, Geek Grind. It's just because you're in Colombia, okay? Colombia. Oh, I thought it was a fentanyl joke. Oh, yeah. Well, no. I, you, you know what? That's uh, We can't get too deep in this topic, but... Um, that That's what she is, said. That fentanyl is in so much now. I guess people have to be careful. They're actually being careful and testing their illegal uh, substances before they buy them now. Wow. You know, Keith Richards used to do that so with black tar heroin. Yeah. He would throw it on the ground and stomp on it. How would that test it? I don't know. It was just Keith oh. Richards' way. Well, it's oh. obviously worked for him. But uh, He's not I dead. wouldn't Good recommend point. anybody else do it or do any of that. I'm so glad I quit because, yeah, apparently it's like they're Shit. cut cutting uh, fentanyl and everything. Everything. Fentanyl. Recommended Legal by drugs. George Floyd. Yeah. Legal yeah. drugs is enough. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> also cheaper. Well, yeah. I mean, sobriety is a lot I, cheaper. Yeah. Sobriety is not cheaper. We all <laughs> got our vices, for God's sakes. You mean Chad? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> She's free. Oh, my God. Think about that, After guys. you guys, I started I collecting statues and shit. Jesus. Oh, uh, you had no statues, or drugs. statues before? Hmm? Oh, like statues of buff men. Oh. I got some statues of buff men. Dressed it's up. It's like, okay. exactly. It's to inspire you. Yeah. Well, Batman, which, uh, yeah, it's nothing wanna, about that. I want a 2B statue, but one where the skirt can come off. Oh, there's tons of those. I know. The one I want I'll to send you a link, as. <laughs> oh, For uh, you re research purposes, Gundam. <laughs> I I found a figure of Tifa Lockhart that's uh, one six scale by mistake purely. I've got and, oh, I got two Tifa Lockharts, which are. Six but scale. does her clothes come off? And she has yes. soft skin. Really, yes. you found she that? She has soft it. skin. Yeah, yeah she has a face and body, so you you um, <clears throat> you, they can get. Yeah. Oh, you can but, squish but the Gundam, boob? there's also Squishy a company boob body, yeah. that makes one in one Tifas. Oh, yeah. But that's one in off. one. Yeah, it's yeah one in one scale, off. full size. So, Gary, about that Lord of the Rings yeah. game you're playing, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Wait. Uh, cool, so, huh? so that we're Lord talking Rings... sex stones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Do it on your own. You time. probably need a show as. Yeah, why don't you do a yeah, do a hotter toys? Okay. <laughs> come to, come to there you go. Gonna we do, got a title. We're gonna do a stream. A new show was starting Thursdays, six PM, and it's called Sex or Next. So um two on the nose. today today is an ominous anniversary for Marvel. I got an article up there. Uh today is the day canonically that Tony Stark dies. Oh. Oh. I Aww. thought this was serious. Because uh, Marvel uh, is a couple of years in the future, right? Uh, Secret Invasion takes place in 2025 because they jacked up the timeline when they um, fucked everything up. When yeah. Spider Man came out and the uh, God, Homecoming came out. They jacked up yeah, the they, timeline. Yeah. They had the wrong date on that film yep. based on their own timeline. <laughs> so they yeah. had to push everything up two years. Uh, and we're finding out, um, you know, as with Disney Star Wars, there seems to be. A commonality with Din Disney Star Wars. I mean, aside from Forces Female, MCU, oh. Incompetence, not a plan. Yeah, pretty much it. Uh, Marvel Stokes. So this is from Bounding into Comics. Spencer wrote this. This is from a book. This is from a book. Uh, Marvel Studios reportedly only chose Kang as multiverse saga villain after Jonathan Majors received positive buzz over Loki cameo. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's th th this is insane. As I'm confused. Loki is one of, is probably the most watched D plus show, but it still wasn't watched by as many people that watch. Okay, maybe four percent of the, the amount of people that watch an MCU film, a hit MCU film. And I'm being generous on that. That's how many people watched Loki behind a paywall on Disney Plus. <laughs> And that was their biggest hit. It's a new streaming service. At the time it came out, it didn't have as many subs as it has now. And they they they, they made a decision for the entire MCU based on that clownish uh, Mahler. Was that a was that a were people praising that appearance at the end of Kang? I feel like I feel like it was a different universe. I thought the whole fucking yeah, point was that he was set up that he was gonna be the villain or whatever. I didn't realize this was just bullshit, and then they decided, ah, fuck it, we'll run with it. And then, of course, if they were running with it from just this, it was it was all I remember is all of us talking about how he took professional clown lessons to play this yes. character. Like, what do you? <clears throat> who, who was impressed? Why? What? He said, didn't he say something along the lines of? My performance was inspired by my time at clown school. Yeah, he was a professional oh clowder. <laughs> yeah. That's what his ex girlfriend know, said. It takes a lot of uh, it takes a, what do you need? a lot of courage to be a clowner, but uh, he he did he nailed it. You could tell he could nail it. Uh, he was a natural. And I yeah, I, I guess I'm just kind of blown away by how. That's how little the planning was yet again, and that that was the performance that brought you into putting him into the phase four and five and six villain. I guess. That's, Why am I not surprised? But also surprised. The you know? gambit. Oh God, it was so bad. I I wanted Sylvie to kill him by the end, and <laughs> uh, and thank God she did. Um, I also wanted her to. Uh, kill everybody on the show and herself um, <laughs> and myself when it was done but uh, <laughs> this movie sounds like a positive treat but dude um, basing it basing it like you're King the Conqueror on that dude from the end of Loki which was a mid show I mean going to be nice mid show based on how it was received uh, some of us hated it and saw it for what it was, a complete destruction of the MCU that was supposed to set up the multiverse, but they're doing it again in season two right now. Uh, and nobody's fucking watching it. And as many have pointed out, this is a great gauge of like how many people actually give a shit about the MCU, which is none, which is it's done. I've made a couple of videos about it. It's done. Like we are well into apathy now. Oh. Uh, you're gonna say it's hit quick. No, it's it's hit and it's hit hard and it's hit quickly. And I think Marvel have uh, have realized the damage. Oh. 
but way too late. Yeah, what, like without a doubt, they know. We we heard they knew this before they fired the Daredevil writers. We heard it at Comic Con, and uh, and and it seems that that's that's the case. The if they felt strongly about something, do you think they would very publicly embarrass and fire the writers and directors from Daredevil, which came mm -hmm. from inside Disney Marvel? That article mm -hmm. was. Was uh, wow, it's very unlike Disney Marvel, considering what Ma Mahler you said you heard from this book. They're like, they don't like to air what's up, Fluffy? Uh, they I'm don't, Fluffy. hi, Fluffy, they don't like to air their dirty laundry at all. But man, no, never. They it's, Kevin Feige's all about being clean, being seen as clean, which is the Disney way. But it's like, it's like that sheen of um, what's that film, House of Wax, <laughs> like where uh, you <laughs> yeah. peel away the layer, and then it's all this rotting flesh underneath. That's what Disney is, yes. Oh. Uh, for all the Marvel Studios promotion of Kang the Conqueror as their shared cinematic universe uh, next big bad, it seems that the decision to feature him in a role was only made after the villain's actor Jonathan Majors received positive buzz for his betrayal. Um, you want to talk about hearing what you want to hear. By the way, this is the book we're talking about, The Reign of Marvel Studios, and apparently it's a tell-all. It's a bit of a tell-all. I ordered it myself. It's also available on the Audible. Um, and yeah, uh, Mahler, you said we get some dirty laundry in this a little bit. Well, it's, it's, it is a curious title too, the reign of Marvel series as though it's over. Yeah. Cause it is. Which, I mean, <laughs> it is <laughs> like, yeah. I they think it's shot. also on sale. Mm hmm. It is. Listen, I seem to recall a few of us making videos saying Marvel was doomed two years ago. A year ago? Oh, no. I said Marvel was doing great. Uh, of course you were. <laughs> I watched your, I watched I mean, your I feel Marvel's like, video. Yeah, we've been we've been calling this uh, for a long time. And it's just cool to see. It's like with every day that passes, we get more confirmation. And then it's especially interesting when you get stories about what was happening all those years ago that now it like wasn't available as information at the time and yet we would speculate on we'd be like hmm seems like this stuff is happening because you know this book apparently covers all phases um and, and it even talks about the future of uh the mcu which i believe i haven't got the like, quotes on hand but i believe they talk about how the plan is to reset yes and, uh, refocus with uh, different heroes and stuff which could you imagine the time to reset probably would have been you know, with full momentum so that you can get everybody to believe that you can tell the great big story again. But imagine resetting after like, it's, it's like DC. It's, it's, it basically comes across as though you fucked. It doesn't come across as though it's like, oh, we want to tell you another story now. It comes across as though like, guys, you're going to come back if we reset maybe? Yeah, that you, you fucked up a bit because they their biggest mistake from the beginning was not recasting. Just, you don't kill off Captain America and Iron Man. <clears throat> It's fucking I, I stupid. I don't think it, resetting is going to work. No, no, it is not going no. to work. It, as Mahler just said, it is uh, admitting failure. That's the way a lot of people are going to perceive it because it's true. Just a, a DC reset's not going to work. No, we're, we're not going to get uh, today. Um, Games Radar, the bastion of journalism, reported that Daredevil <laughs> or Deadpool three is not going to get delayed. Its release date is in May. Is in fucking. <laughs> May. Wait, see, I, I have a, I have questions. <laughs> I, I have questions. Okay, go ahead. It's coming out in May of next year. Next year, they have nothing. That's seven months. No writers. <laughs> no directors. No story. No nothing. And it's currently mid October. They shut down. No, well, they they shut down shooting. They had they've been shooting principal for like a month. Uh huh. Okay. So. Best case scenario, the quickest movie I've seen turned around that's a superhero film is Venom, the first Venom movie. They they shot that and got it done in like uh, a well under a year, which was pretty insane. Not the greatest movie ever made, okay? Didn't hate it. Agreed. But not the greatest movie ever made, <laughs> okay? Actually, silly. I, silly. I love Tom Hardy as an actor. Probably one of his worst performances ever. <laughs> so. What, what, are you, what are you saying? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Games Radar is out there going, Deadpool 3 is not going to get delayed. It's And it's early May. It's like the first weekend of May it's supposed to come out. So it's technically, we go, uh, you know, four months. Yeah, it's six months now. 
and there are no uh, film actors guild uh, members out there yet, and uh, there's and there's they can't go back just... until that's done. I need to get that clip. I was watching Team America the other day. God dang, that's a good movie. Okay, so back to uh, Marvel's big uh, plan. Uh, the insight into Marvel's ongoing scramble to find a post-Endgame sense of direction was first divulged to the public by authors Jonah Robinson, David Gonzalez, and Gavin Edwards in their newly released uh, retrospective MCU, The Reign of Marvel Studios. I will also point out that there are creatives who were previously involved with Marvel who are not and will not be anymore that hated their experience so much that they're willing to talk to people <laughs> behind the scenes. I bet you they talked to them. <laughs> I'm betting they did uh, because it's been, it's been like this for a while. Uh, speaking to the studio's decision to begin heavily relying on the multiverse as a narrative tool, the authors recalled how the concept's MCU debut in Doctor Strange Mom, Mahler's favorite movie. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Open up new possibilities for storytelling. Is that is that how you would look at it? I I I think it really kind of closed the door. Um, it it I think it, it did the opposite. <laughs> gave people the courage to just fucking throw anything at the wall and see if it sticks. That's, you know, uh, you know, it opened it up. Do you can do you consider? It's like we're gonna Jackson Pollock this stuff now. My personal opinion of Jackson <laughs> Pollock is he was a drug addict and an alcoholic that tricked everybody into thinking he was an artist and he just splattered shit on uh <laughs> that that's that's my opinion of him. So uh however, the new avenues for fan service, I don't know if that's a hot take. It's like modern art. It's like splatter art. He jizzed with paint. Uh multiverse of madness featured not only uh the all-star Illuminati. Did it though? Did, were they all, all star? star? All star. Okay, I'm looking at the picture right here with another add on. Bounding, you hard up for cash? And remember, they're not there together. Okay. Oh, they're not. Th these are all filmed separately, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Man, look at, I didn't, I didn't really look at that. And it shows from, because uh, Captain Marvel. None of them are reacting to yeah. anything that's going on, remember. It looks like she's about to sit on something on a stripper stage. Yeah. <laughs> Rambo is sitting oh, dominant. What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> she's got a Rambo something. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So there is, um, oh my God, uh, Agent Carter on the left. Uh, that was filmed six months prior to Black Bolt. <laughs> the, the, on a different continent. And didn't um, and didn't Haley Atwell come out critically of uh of her experience filming this as well? I bet. I think she did. So yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. It feels like the the longer time goes on, the more people are like, hey, nothing was shit. <laughs> it's like when you realize you're not getting your Disney Plus show. I mean, what... sorry, I just realized the best white tank tops in horror history. I've got to read that later. Uh, oh, yeah, that? that'd be uh, Eliza Dushku. My eyes was glued to that turn. as well. Uh, Eliza Dushku? In wrong yeah. turn, yeah. Wrong turn, yeah. I, I would agree with that. Um, okay, so. It's so... Cold. And, and let's not forget the 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 really super duper popular Illuminati, which has uh, two members of the uh, original Illuminati from the comic books, uh, introduced for the first time to many fans who buy pop vinyls and don't read comic books, the real Black Bolt <laughs> and Mr. Fantastic, and killed them unceremoniously like a couple of idiots. Mm -hmm. That was your first appearance of Mr. Fantastic and Black Bolt in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And you just popped yep. one's head and you made the other one spaghetti. And that was Kevin Feige's decision, by the way. It's fucking terrible. Visionary. Uh, I know, I know uh, well, a lot of people with anime avatars defended Doctor Strange Mom. How's that defense? It was shit. Out? It was shit. It was real massive Turtling dog shit. Yep. The only yeah, if they have a spare six hours, I could uh, explain how bad it is. Yeah. <laughs> In detail. In detail. Still waiting for that six hour rebuttal uh, from somebody. Uh... <laughs> You'd be lucky uh, to get six minutes. I, mm. uh, the trio. Uh, so. Where was I? Multiverse of Madness featured not only the all-star Illuminati with John Krasinski and Patrick Stewart. Oh, yeah. They broke Professor X's from the 
from the animated series, the proper, the first proper Professor X we see in the proper Professor X, you know, chair gets his neck snapped by by Scarlet Witch. Yeah, after he gets fucking, you know, slaughtered Out, by her in a, in a mind palace back and forth <clears throat> thing. It's like, yep, yeah, okay. The fight would go on at least a little longer than that, okay? It would just, uh, uh, but four. Yeah, and he would win because. We've gone over it. He should have won. Fuck you. Yep. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yep. Uh, yeah. But four different versions of uh, Benedict uh, Cabbage Patch as Doctor Strange. The trio explained Marvel Studios believe the audiences could follow complicated uh, contingency timelines. They, they weren't complicated. It was gobbledygook. There's complicated yeah. and there's gobbledygook. Gobbledygook is not complicated. <laughs> it's it's a four-year-old with crayons uh while eating spaghetti that's that's what that is uh without well they need to appeal to zoomers like we're out of date dude it's over for us we're not the audience if only there was a i don't know store pretty soon movies will have memories captions well, Wait, I, what was that as? That sounded like a great idea. Did you say a store where you could access? Memory? Yeah, if there was only like some sort of store, brick and mortar, probably because I'm old school, where you could just go and see your memories. No, it needs to be like TikTok. They could call it the expedition dump. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a really great idea. Uh, complicated contingency timelines without comic book style expl uh, explanatory captions and tried not to abuse that trust. Oh, you failed. Oh. You failed. <laughs> Miserably. <laughs> Miserably in your... Uh, I, you can't say diminishing your turn. Your rapid decline into nothingness proves that. Uh, for, for anybody currently defect, defending Loki right now or anything, they just fired all of the daredevil writers and directors publicly and embarrass them because they're because re <laughs> they're resetting their fucking universe so you're defending something that's already dead <laughs> okay you're defending a corpse uh providing a brief recap for readers robinson's gonzalez and edwards then explain phase one two cha 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 phase one <laughs> two and three of the i MCU was sharing the link on instagram for this stream because Melissa did it all for me. She yes, that's it. She, <laughs> and then she's gonna give me a like to say I did good by following yeah. her instructions. Yeah, like like you know, like a special needs kid who hits yes. his first <laughs> ball at yes. T ball. She's all good boy, and I'm like, ag, ag, ag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, phase one, two, and three of the MCU had been collectively known as the Infinity Saga. Phases four, five, and six were dubbed the Multiverse Saga and noted that the, sa the saga's uh, antagonist introduced in Loki as He Who Remains and then showcased the movie in showcased in the movie Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Media. Showcased? Sorry, did I say it wrong? No, no. It's just funny to say that he was showcased in that movie. Showcased <laughs> in the movie Antifa Man. And Wasp, Kami Mania, Mania. Yeah, uh, was the time traveling Kang. We was Kangs, a character who had so many different versions and iterations in Marvel comic books that the writers and fans had long ago given up on keeping them all straight. Absolute fact. So the reason Kang has so many iterations is, I think, initial. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If there's somebody out there who was like in the know in the editorial office back in the day, but it it. It was originally just a bunch of separate characters and like, let's just make them all Kang. It, it, you know, it might help with continuity or some shit or help with some of the future story. Um, I, I've, I've never taken Kang seriously. And honestly, one, one of the better versions was in The Young Avengers with Iron Lad. But, um, and I like the Busick run of uh, The Avengers. That was really good. Uh, a character who had so many different versions and iterations, uh, they couldn't keep them straight. Well, they, to be fair, they can't keep uh, any of the Marvel characters straight. And that's just their sexuality. <laughs> Zing! Yeah, he does that's again. what I meant. <laughs> Gary's like, that was my joke. You that was my it. joke. Well, that's, that's ass. I took the ball <laughs> and I ran. And I scored a touchdown. Well, I was trying the subtlety uh, aspect, or it, we could just go... 
They can't keep their characters from sucking dick. <laughs> That's what I say, knowing about yeah. Tim Drake. Dude, uh, they made Tim Gr Drake gay, dude. Yeah. They made Tim Drake yeah. gay. The, the times the guy they are a change yeah. in. That is so much. That is yeah. actually worse than making Iceman gay. That, that It's actually yeah. worse. They're both bad. Well, no. no, Gary, you're wrong. Because they're I'm, going to now I'm release harong? an ongoing... Yeah, harong. <laughs> they're going to release uh, an ongoing Tim Drake Robin series. And that's going to prove to... Oh, it got cancelled after 10 issues. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Oh. It went 10? How was Superboy going? But it went... It went. Uh, Superboy got cancelled. It got cancelled. Oh. And then Mags Visaggio uh, put up a, a, a Superboy trans pitch no way. Yeah, that, was, that, and, and, that was real and dude yeah. that art i thought as, it was a meme that art as is, <laughs> it, is by Derek robertson <laughs> oh i saw that and went oh no uh, co-creator of the boys i know Oops. i don't know what to make of this it feels like everything is just going full-on clown world yep. we're way past clown world we are we are we're well, what that lead us? clown <laughs> we're in a clown we, multiverse. We hit the clown singularity. <laughs> yeah, we hit the clown singularity. <laughs> we're in the multiverse of the clowns. Um, having finally broached the specific topic of King himself, the authors then revealed that according to one Marvel source, King was not originally intended to be the overarching villain of Believe the multiverse you. saga. Saga, and they should they should cancel him right now. I don't. It's not even about. I don't give a shit about his trial, dude. Uh, but the, one of the better things in the weakest of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies that I did like was the high evolutionary and, and his motivation. I think you could play with that a lot more, and that would be a lot more frightening than uh, just defeating a bad guy over and over again, and all he gets is replaced by copies of himself. That, that There's no sense Yeah, and I thought the, um, the actor was more intimidating as well. Yep. Better oh, acting, wow. better concept of a villain. That can lead... The Mm -hmm. To many things that can be mm -hmm. bigger villains, but you had Mephisto out there. Like he should be the one pulling the strings. Like that should be your next. Big that could battle. be interesting. That would be fucking rad. Because then you could bring then in the Supernatural. Silver Surfer. Yep, Silver Surfer and Supernatural. Uh, you you can combine both of that. You know why Marvel has? Yeah, I don't know if they say it in the book, but like Marvel uh, has had a lot of trouble getting stuff released in China because of supposed magic. beliefs and magic and stuff like yeah. that that doesn't oh seem, yeah doesn't seem to be an issue anymore so they've got this whole facet that they've completely ignored but hey we needed chiki chavez and uh no more god when dr strange st stood on the memory store brick <laughs> and uh <laughs> And saw that heart-wrenching uh, story of America Chavez getting scared by a bee, which pushed her <laughs> lesbian mums into, <laughs> into, into a hole. <laughs> I'm not even joking! I'm not even joking! I didn't see this. Dude, okay. That's one of those moments where if you're Dr. Strange, you see all of that. You just sort of look at her and like, the fuck? <laughs> what was that? So I'm I'm laughing my ass off in the theater. So I'm the only one laughing in there. I'm like, no, oh shit, oh god. And what the only thing they failed to mention is the mo lesbian moms are from a realm called Utopia. It's supposed to. Oh. Be <laughs> yeah, that's the character yeah. that's made by the uh, lesbian writer or something for Marvel. Yeah, if I recall correctly, the perfect world is like Dude, all lesbians. But who takes out the garbage? What happens? Well. What happens the next time America Chavez sees a bee, <laughs> <laughs> and then she like break down at PTSD? Ah, yeah, Dude, it's like I in the movie where they Dude, have to Swarm should be your arch enemy. Swarm, you don't you don't know who Swarm is? Swarm is a being a made guy of made bees. of bees. Yes, yes. <laughs> And in the cart, in the cart, I good guess, Mahler. <laughs> in the cartoon, he's all swarm, swarm. <laughs> Having a fight, he fought the champions too. Okay, the champions, Ooh. weirdest team, weirdest team. It's like some Which X version of them, though. Not the gay one, the real <laughs> cool one. The real, the real cool one with Hercules, straight <laughs> Ice Man. Angel. Wait a minute. Hercules is now gay. Hercules Iceman is now gay. Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, Hercules is gay? 
No, when no. did that happen? Oh, yeah. No, no. This is when Hercules and Iceman were crushing pussy. Uh, Black Widow was on the team. Uh, Ghost Rider was on the team. It was a fucking cool book. It only lasted 17 issues. Wait, gay Ghost Rider or regular Ghost Rider? Uh, <laughs> Ghost Rider, they couldn't have made him gay. Uh, Spirit gay of Vengeance. Rider. Uh, gay he's, Rider. <laughs> no, he's straight, and occasionally as he's Johnny Blaze, he has he gets a little side piece. So the but, original but he's one. actually, yeah, he's actually too focused on, you know, uh, serving uh, justice and vengeance uh, and uh, fighting his inner demon. Then um, Eating uh, cheesecake with... Uh, or key, a key lime pie. Get it right. It's oh, key, sorry. It's key lime pie. Gary, I, I apologize. It's Can good, you accept my so my apology, please? No, no, I'm kidding. Of course I do. I'm uh, old. Uh, having financially broached the specific topic, blah 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 blah, uh, intended uh, uh, the decision to elevate Kang him to the Thanos level threat was based. On positive buzz. That's it. Disney flexed, oh it, flexed its marketing muscles for Kang's cinematic debut, hoping to get as many <clears> eyes <throat> as possible on Major's performance and to hype two post-credit sequences promoting his central role in both uh, TV, the Loki film, and everywhere else. Uh, they detailed in the closing moments of Ant-Man, or Antifa Man, sorry, and the Wasp Quantumania, uh, thousands of versions of Kang crowded an arena all of them wore the face of Jonathan Majors, not since Robert Downey Jr. had the studio place so much, uh, so many chips on one actor. Ah. Yeah, whoops. <sighs> Sometimes you win some, you lose some. Right. When Iron Man came out, the original Iron Man, if, if you've seen the behind the scenes, <clears throat> it, was, it was quite a big risk hiring Robert Downey Jr. at that time due to the aforementioned drugs, <laughs> uh, burglary, uh, jail time, and he was on his as far the way. If he transgressed again, he was going away for a long time. He was time. done. Yeah. He was done. Yeah, because mm. so he, he, no, he, Robert Downey Jr. went to prison, went to yes. the same place I did. He didn't go to like a lot of these actors go to fucking jail or something. Like, I did time. No, he he did fucking time, like real time. So yeah, he was he, he's he's got felt. I doubt he's pardoned. Maybe he's pardoned, but uh, and and that first Iron Man film <clears throat> blew people away. And uh, it really gave him another uh, another lease of life, another big opportunity. I think he was also doing Tropic Thunder at the time. And, uh, of course, that was a smash hit as well. So going forward, you would be relatively safe based upon how well the film did, how well it was received, and the launching pad that it gave the MCU. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Jo yeah. Jonathan Majors was seen by five people behind a fucking paywall on a streaming service and said, I went to clown school and that's how I played Kang. Like, well, it was clown. after BLM, so it could be good optics. To yeah. Have a that, focus on a black guy. That's exactly, that was their exact motivation. It was, it's we need to. You, you, you pulled the curtain back. Yeah, well, that's that was their motivation. I mean, they probably that, that's shit they probably won't talk about in the book, but we will freely talk about because we're allowed to speculate it. But you know, Hollywood freaked out a little bit during the summer of love, and they were really scared that a bunch of people were going to burn down their mansions. So they're like, "Oh, uh, hello, God forbid, marginalized person. Let's give you something, marginalized person. Please don't attack me because it's called the uh, the bigotry of lowered expectations." That's what they continue to do to this very day. So uh, it was it was a decision partially based on identity. <clears throat> now, could he have worked as Kang? Sure, as like a one-off in a movie, maybe, uh, to set up something else. Yeah, sure, like no problem. But um, Maybe if he looked more like Kang, it would work for me. Well, I mean, here he, I mean, like Kang's got a purple face, okay, <laughs> or blue face. He's in a purple costume. That's kind of what he is. Um, but uh, as many have pointed out, he's also, through retconning, a descendant of Reed Richards, which tells you exactly what they're thinking when it comes to casting Reed Richards. <laughs> mm. So have they, have they made any uh, links in the MCU with Kang and, and Reed Richards? No, mm. that, that's purely from the comic books. But yeah. no, no links 
from uh, unless it's some Easter egg that some prop guy put in the background that I am not aware of. But uh, yeah, that's that's where they're going. So it was an identity based decision instead of, you know, Robert Downey Jr. was we got a guy for one. Robert Downey Jr. had acted before in a lot of things and been very good at it, including weird Chapel. science. Yeah. Total weird, classic. Back to uh, back to school. Weird science. He, he's he's a great uh, lesson zero. Dude, he's been in a lot of freaking good movies. So uh, he's he's. Plus, his his dad was a filmmaker, an indie filmmaker, so he he had a pedigree. I'm not saying Jonathan Majors didn't, but this was such a weird and bizarre risk to take, based on some fan reaction, mostly on Twitter and Facebook, and mm -hmm. to sink millions and like to bet your entire three fa or two phases on him, essentially. They introduced him in phase four, but they bet two phases on him, a plan you can't change, which they should. They should cancel everything except for Deadpool 3 and Secret Wars. The minute they announced Secret Wars, I think everybody who is aware of the second version of Secret Wars uh, was thinking that <clears throat> that's probably where you could reboot everything because that's kind of what they did to the 616. The 616 essentially ended in the Secret War that came out in what was it, 2016 or 17, where they brought uh, Miles Morales, who's Miles Morales, into the uh, 616, and yeah, it, it just that it essentially ended that day, the, the day that fucking comic came out. Um, and I fucking hate it, and and they're gonna adapt that one, and it's fucking terrible. It's legitimately a terrible comic book series. Like if you wanted to adapt the one from the 80s, sure, bring it on. There you go. Uh, not that's not the one they're adapting. Then we could get Marvel Red, or is it Marvel Now? Uh, Marvel Now happened before Secret War. It kind of led up to it. Marvel Now came out came out right after X Men versus Avengers, which was such a letdown. <laughs> well, the a... MCU doesn't really follow continuity anyway. No, no, like the, uh, so many people, are like they did this in the comics. It's like stop that shit. They have not adapted a comic book properly uh, f for five years. Six years, I would say, like, showing the source material respect. They put in Easter eggs. It's there to just entice you or to so, for somebody to say, well, they they said the in the comic. Well, yeah. They it's did. for Twitter to defend yeah. them whenever yeah. one of us says something. It's like, you fucking, yeah. You, you know how you know that? You went to Wikipedia, mofo. Um, <clears throat> Wikipedia wonders. Yep. Show us your, show us your boxes. Yep. I get it all digitally. Oh, didn't Yellow Shows Flash? Didn't, yeah, Yellow Flash did that. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> he did get a lot of responses, and when the ones he did get Perfect. were not good. <laughs> were yeah. not good. Uh, I, I like the one where he really went in. Shows your boxes. I buy them digitally. Shows your comicsology or wherever you get it from. Yep. Um, <clears throat> oh, you steal it. You don't put a single fucking penny into it. Either. Shut the fuck up. Most of it was this. Who would buy yeah. a digital comic? That sounds utterly oh, insane. It's trash. Oh, I had an argument with somebody. No, not an argument, but I had a, a heated debate. With, so yeah, when they a started discussion with somebody about that, when they started yeah. Marvel now, they had these little stickers on. Do you guys remember this? They had the little stickers on the comics where you get your free digital copy copy with your comic oh, yeah. book. And I wasn't against that. I'm like, cool. If you want to put it on your whatever and travel sure. and read it that's fine except for how they packed it because those stickers when they had the comics stacked up those stickers would make it bow out like this and, oh god it destroyed the comics it was so terrible it's like couldn't you just print the code on the inside of the back cover or something does it have to be a effing sticker uh it's stupid uh disney flexed its flexed its marketing muscles for kang cinematic debut hoping that to get as many eyes as possible on major's performance and the hype to post Type to post crust. Fuck it, I can't talk. But post credit scenes promoting his central role in both TV Loki and film everything else. They detailed in the closing moments of Ant Man and Quantum Mania, thousands of versions of Kane Credible by that. And though uh, this bet was undoubtedly risky, Marvel's confidence in their new main antagonist was boosted by the fact that although the reviews for Quantum Mania were woeful and its box office dropped by 69% in its second week of release, yeah, setting a dismal new record for the Marvel Studios, Major seemed immune to criticism. 
uh, well, I mean, amongst yourselves when you were out there, like pretty much prof- like they people wanted to mount him. That that red carpet for Quantum Mania was unbelievable. It, there was so much simping for Jonathan Majors. Well, like a super interesting aspect. OK, so you're right. That was filled with appreciation for him. I appreciate the that's Blu-ray. A, that's a very right? nice way to put it, Mueller. <laughs> Yes, because I I am very nicely putting <laughs> yes, it. You, you see, the, there's the Blu-ray You're more eloquent special than me. features on the Blu-ray had them all talking about the sections of the film where they got to him. They would say Jonathan Majors over and over and over again, best performance, going to be great, got a great future. I remember this whole bit with it. He's like, when I put on the suit, I realized this was the first of you know a huge long future where I was going to bring life to this <clears> character, <throat> and I knew that responsibility, and I had to bring it. in. you know, lot lot of stuff like that. Then because that had come out already, then then all the court case stuff was was going on the accusations and they uh i think i mentioned to you before they delayed the marvel assembled behind the scenes for quantum mania i was like that's curious why is that and uh, the only theory that really works is that they weren't sure if they should release it considering it would likely have a lot of appreciation for jonathan majors in it uh-huh and um and we know that behind the scenes they were asking <laughs> quietly for the marketing now for anything, uh, including like the release of Quantumania to not really show as much him, talk about him, reduce all the stuff to do with him. And obviously I got to watch it, that that um that assembled and all the parts about him, they they I don't even think they use his name. They only say Kang. Yeah. And they like, yeah. <laughs> explicitly exclusively talk about like his role in the film as a character. They barely at all talk about Jonathan Majors, his uh, performance or whatever. And there's some awkward editing in there. Like Fringy had a theory that they'd um they chopped out significant portions and replaced it with like B roll and just let it flow sort of thing to try and connect pieces. But yeah, they were probably rushed to re-edit it so that there was less you know uh appreciation for it. Because again, all that's dirty laundry and we can't have that get public. God forbid. Imagine Marvel just said that publicly. It's like, wait, do you guys like this guy or not? <laughs> Should we hire right. him or not? I guess that dirty laundry thing works until your movie starts sucking. <laughs> Which we they... can see the dirty laundry. You know what you I mean? Like... See, yeah, it's like it's so obvious. You know, uh, I'd love to profess that we're geniuses here, but like it's pretty obvious to figure out that they don't want, know what the hell they're doing. They're just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, and none of it's sticking. And now they have to reset everything, and it's too fucking late. You know. Um, I think a good gauge for this will be Doctor Who, uh, as when um, when when uh, when the 60th comes out, <clears throat> will it be as popular? Uh, I, I would say, look at the states. Will <clears throat> Tenet bring back that audience that left post Matt Smith and uh, during Capaldi's run, and then completely abandon it uh, during Jody's run? Uh, they did every. They brought back RTD. They brought back Donna. They brought back the Tenth Doctor. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is playing the Celestial Toy Maker. All sounds pretty good. We'll see how it does. Well, look, <laughs> Iron Man sounds good. Yeah, Cap- Captain America sounds good. Yep, Batman sounds good. Mm-hmm. And but what do we get? We get Black Captain Falcon, American Soldier, Winter Time. Uh, we get. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, we said <laughs> we said the only way to to try and salvage Doctor Who is to to bring Tenant back. The problem is, we know that was a superficial superficial thing. Yeah. If you want to make any sort of uh, true restoration of Doctor Who, then the Timeless Children has to be wiped. So it doesn't matter if something looks good. <clears throat> Tenant's there for three specials and mm-hmm. out then it's shooty gatwa <laughs> hi fluffy fluffy agrees with you shooty gatwa could be she's very know. passionate about british television yeah, <laughs> i know and i love that that translated into a race <laughs> the timeless children just one like uh shooty gatwa could be good right but one thing i found very interesting about the promotional images that they've done because they've shown them in different time periods you know with different outfits on is that they keep giving him wigs for the, the time period. You you never you never saw any of the other doctors in, in wigs for the time period. They they would, you know, gel the hair back or, or yeah, whatever. I, so it seems like they're really sort of trying to push something with that. 
Um, I, uh. I I think you get some people back, but you don't get everybody back, and then we'll see what happens. I think people, a lot of people, just come back for like tenant and Sorry, then bail like out. This. You got that, and then we'll do that. And they put a lot of money, and it's on Disney, dude. <laughs> Disney has something to do with this, which is like my worst nightmare. Red flag, red so, flag. Uh, as the only way it does what you just said, as is the, uh, I think if it's good, if it's bad, I think that goes up and then just cliff edge. Just cliff. Right yeah, 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 yeah. If it's good, like if it's watchable, if it's good, I think we'll see a lack of that. But Maul yeah. is right. I mean, if it's bad, it'll go up and it'll just. Yep. Hey, I like that new theme by Murray Gold. Murray Gold's back. They did the they released a new theme. It was freaking great, but we'll see. Uh, but get rid of the time with children. You, you can you can bring David Tennant back. Dude, you we, can we, bring Murray Gold back. You can bring RTD ask, back. Uh, RTD needs to answer the question: Who was the first doctor? Who is the first doctor? Who and is if the, the first doctor? Isn't Hartnell? Then the answer is wrong. End of story. Wrong. Hartnell number one. Fuck the BBC. Defund the BBC. Put the fucking Doctor Who franchise up for sale. Yeah. Somebody buy it that loves it and actually restores Doctor Who back to its its glory. But this is, again, an ideological... We've been through it many times, but it's an ideological decision based on... i got no problem with shooting gas with being the Doctor uh, at all as a, as a progression of the Doctor. But the Doctor is A, a man, and B, partner number one. Yep. Uh, okay, so back to Kang. Uh, his performance is laud <laughs> lauded as an as the highlight of the movie oh, and the de facto future up. of the MCU. Listen, Tim Roth was good in uh, in uh, Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. That movie was shit. Yeah. Okay? But it, T it, Tim it, Roth it, put in a good it, performance in a shit movie. This was a this was a f an okay performance. At best. It was fine. It was fine. At best. Yeah. It was nothing that, that really stood out. It was a nice again, little bit of malevolence about again, the character, but nothing. The praise felt like somebody praising a special needs kid yes. hitting a ball at a t-ball game. That's what it felt like because Big that's what it was. Of low expectations. Yep. Of course, as fans, the authors of the MCU, the reign of Marvel Studios, and uh, Marvel uh, or Mahler uh, kind of <laughs> pointed out. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Calling uh, me Marvel. I call you Marvel now. Marvel. <laughs> You're my Marvel. No. Uh, it, it, you pointed out that that kind of sounds like something that's ended, you know, and you're right. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, now, uh, now no, Marvel's plans for King ran into a major roadblock when, uh, he got, he was accused of strangling a woman. Uh, part of the trio's recollection of the situation, suddenly Marvel's safest bet for its future became its latest dilemma. Unfortunately, neither Robinson or Gonzalez nor Edwards were able to provide any insight. Uh, the insight for Marvel that I have heard is wait, they're waiting and seeing till the trial, um, which is, which is what you should do. Now, has Disney done this in the past with other people like Gina Carano? No, no. And she didn't strangle anybody. She put up a meme. They fired her immediately. And, uh, but they might have kept her. I don't think they would have. Uh, if she had done a 40-person Zoom room fucking struggle session. Mm. <clears throat> now and Maybe sing Imagine as well. And maybe sing Imagine. And innocent <laughs> until proven guilty. We don't know what's going on. With Jonathan Majors, he keeps uh, saying there's video out there that proves his innocence. And by all accounts, uh, that girlfriend he was with, kind of sketchy. But that's, again, that's by accounts. I don't fucking know. So they should wait. They absolutely should wait before. Uh, uh, and, and, hey, the strike has bought them time. The strike, the strike has bought Disney Marvel time to reevaluate a great many things. Uh, but as we have said, too late. Hollywood's going to move on. Superhero movies are too damn expensive. And uh, maybe the action genre is going to start coming back because that's a lot cheaper. It's a Honestly, lot cheaper. I think, here's my personal opinion, they might move towards anime and mangas. Oh, yeah. The money's there. Well, uh, and One Piece. One Piece showed that it can be done anime well enough video games. to satisfy most people. Yeah, well, I mean, I fucking hate Last of Us. I, I don't like the concept of the game. Even the good one that people like, don't care. But... People like that first season. Can't wait for season two. But um, that was technically a video game adaptation that was successful. 
right? Yes, yeah, people then, love it so much. It's it's just never mentioned again. Never <laughs> mentioned again. They had a entire episode to go gay, uh, but um, no, it did. Well, that, Neil episode did that episode did what they intended it to do. Yes, which was be put up for an award. That was it, and I said that at the time, and I said it in my fucking review. And I said this will have no bearing going forward, and it didn't. And I know Mola loves the show, wants to sleep with the show, <laughs> but wants to marry the show. The, the whole but I thought the show was <laughs> it's my favorite show. I know it's dog shit, absolute dog shit comparative to the game. I I think they played the game for five I think minutes. A, you did, yes. <laughs> five minutes. See, now you're making an anime out of that too. <laughs> What the first game? I would, I wouldn't yeah. play it. I wouldn't play it for five minutes. This is, have this is funny. The though, opinions of the game are all over the place because I think the game is good, but that's a. Uh, I don't think it's great mechanically. I just hate though. that I genre. I hate the whole fucking genre. I hate it's the like post kind of zombie. zombie genre. It's so boring. I mean, they I, did something it's, different it's, with the the, oh, the quarter steps a thing. Girl, yeah. key to everything, and they they just ripped off a. Uh, Paul she Stamets, has an immunity. and uh, else, they use the mushroom mycelium thing, which they use for Star Trek Discovery. Uh, and don't she's care. gay. Well, this was made before Star Trek Discovery. When but we they, came out, no, so. dude, no, no, you didn't hear what I said. They oh. took it from Paul Stamets, who they named. Uh, that's that's the mushroom guy. Go watch Joe Rogan. He's the guy who started this whole yeah, mycelium yeah, yeah. network mushroom fucking trend thing. And it's interesting, uh, but it's still zombies and a girl is the key to everything running around where people are being terrible to each other. Oh, that's fucking great. I've never Sounds seen like that Sounds like New before. York. Sounds like Walking Dead. Well, I mean. With the girl is the key to everything. A meandering really? zombie uh, thing where it's more about the people, man, and the behaviors of the people, and it just got fucking boring. Give me fun zombie movies, okay? We got opinions all over the place, dude. I want, so I want naked <laughs> women dancing on graves and then their brains being eaten. Like that's what I'm talking about when it comes. We're to going zombies. way back there. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. right. Oh gee. Um, I say more weird science. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that you know, too. Ellie the Brock that. man at the time. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, she was legendary. Oh yeah. <sighs> She could piss on me. Not quite. The <laughs> microphone's on. It's, Nobody heard that. It is Man. sterile. <laughs> it is sterile. Not when it hits the air. You, you can stop sharing. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Not when it hits the air. How do you even Sorry, know your skin. that? Your skin. I. She's a I nurse in the medical she? field. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. People. I'm a, I'm a. Once it hits your skin as it ha exits, it's not sterile anymore. Okay. Technically, I'll, I'll just say as okay. a father, then what happens? As a father here, you get pissed on. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay. Or if you're Gundam and you know or, or, whatever you, know, you do in the privacy of your own like, home garage, your own business, dude. <laughs> hey, do so you want to look in an Alex Ross Starfire cover? Oh, That's not wait. Starfire. She's not black. Hey, oh. Zing. I don't have my Alex Ross piece to show off yet. It looks good. It's very nice. It's very nice indeed. Uh, she's Alex... a little too attractive. Can we make her a bit uglier? Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely not going to open hot. a comic and read. <laughs> well, of course not. <laughs> Why would you? It's a Marvel you know, comic, Nightwing dude. You will never be gay. Or it's a DC comic. Sorry. <laughs> have uh, you seen the, you saw the fucking covers they're doing with him? Uh-oh. They just bait. They, didn't you know? Do you? Oh no! Of course they don't know. All I know is a doll bait. That's okay. all I do. Mom, on the right. night on the white Nightwing ongoing, they just did a series of essentially homoerotic covers as the variants. Nightwing homo. He'd be like he just he just Nightwing, like bending homo. over, <laughs> bending what? over with his ass out in the air, just looking back like oh please, and I all this kind of weird shit. Mahler. yeah. I I haven't talked to you about Loki. Have you seen it? No, we haven't. We haven't. There's so little to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Uh, That's well, what I want, we're I want to know. I want to Nightwing. know what you think about Loki. <laughs> um, the it had the benefit of me seeing it after Ahsoka, so I was like, "Whoa!" Actors who like are expressing, and a camera that seems to care about what I see. That's interesting. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the story was about as good though, and had about as much things happening in it. We did talk at some point about the the first episode. I guess that was last real BBC probably, yeah. but yeah, the second episode. Holy shit! They they didn't know what to do. They were they were given like the actors. They were given sets, and then they said go, and they were like shit, man. How about we just kidnap some guy called Brad? Was it and Brad? Then we yeah, just talk to him for a whole episode. But we got a zaniac. Uh from the comics we got a zaniac easter egg and then well, there you go and then the guy who took on the avengers couldn't break brad for half an episode oh that was so fucking shit man i was cut uh, 10 we were, minutes we were talking about this like loki is such a loser like I, I know we've said it a million times season one has already made it clear but i thought it was lame it's like oh do you think loki will crush him oh a bit of the old loki there oh ho, ho, villainous lo-. and i was like you you can do better than that. Like the fucking lady from Secret Invasion did better than this. Mm-hmm. Oh, Olivia Coleman is scarier than Loki. Oh, oof, you're right. It's not fair. Like, uh, you know what? You know when they did the thing, right? Where he's coming in and then uh, the door locks and Mobius is like, "Whoa, wait, wait, wait! Why'd you lock me out?" Uh, when we watched it, I was like, "Yeah, that's gonna it's gonna be a fake out. He's a part of the plan." But the interesting angle with that would be that Loki actually goes too far. And that Mobius tries to get in and can't because Loki's actually locked it. And then Loki just, for instance, takes off a hand. Yeah. He just takes his fucking hand off, chops it right off. The guy's screaming. And you can do that in your little PG 13 show, right? You don't, you can just make the green like effects or whatever. You don't need to have blood spraying everywhere. But um, yeah, I don't know. I was just bored. I was like, yeah, Loki spends 10 minutes pretending like he doesn't know how the fucking machine works just to put him in a cube and then slowly shorten it until the guy's like, oh, God, please don't crush me. Oh, Mr. Loki. Oh, you're so scary all of a sudden. Oh, geez. Chop things off or I don't buy it. I love- old Loki. But it does seem like the writers for season two are trying to make up a little bit for season one because I don't know how many people are aware, but Michael Waldron's not writing this season. He is not. It's his assistant. That's a shame. Um, That's why it's got like one percent more life in this season than yeah. the previous. Oh, and you don't have to like take a. You don't need to, or or you aren't able to take a full bathroom ba- break, cook a meal, walk your dog in between lines of dialogue. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, yeah coming off of, of Ahsoka helps. Uh, my favorite part was when they were eating key lime pie, and oh, such they were a good just part, yeah. flippantly talking about the Battle of New York. Uh, that's not tactical. And I'm, and, he was and, angry. It, it, that was the infinity stones in a drawer scene all over again. And I love that the, the one of the, oh! one of the comebacks on Twitter was they literally had the same scene in the, in season one. And I'm like, and, and it was as a comeback by the way. And I'm like, yeah, they did. They, they, <laughs> there's a lot of sitting around and talking about feelings in this show. But Gary, it's no, it's no worse than season one. You're like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Season one was shit. Got me there. <laughs> Got me it's, there. It's just as shit as season one. You uh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, we got Sorry. a pretty accurate statement from Kevin Feige here in a headline. Uh, take share this real quick, X-ray girl. Doo, 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 boop. I, I I completely agree with this. Kevin Feige says the MCU has barely scratched the surface <laughs> of Marvel Comics, even after 32 movies. Yes. No shit. Yep. No, <laughs> You're right. It, 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 <laughs> that might he not even, be the might not be the line that he thought it was. Uh, as someone who <laughs> the, barely knows anything about the comics, I knew even in the best of the MCU's timeline, the best films, they hadn't scratched the surface of the comics. So yeah. Yeah, introducing Warlock after Thanos is dead, uh, it, I pointed this out, is like introducing Silver Surfer after they killed Galactus. I mean, it just make it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you, you could stop. I'm not going to read that. It's Games Radar, so it's it'll Games Retard. That's what it is. Games Retard. There's so there's a lot of cope. Uh, Games Radar came out with the the headline: Deadpool three won't be delayed. <laughs> That's impossible. Uh, I, I, That's not true. That's is it, is impossible. It as as, is it nearly as good as the Rachel uh, Belga tape? 
the the Rachel. Have you seen the, have you seen the article of who? What Rachel? Rachel, Rachel Zegler. Oh, I thought you said Belgar no, or something like no that. No, who's, who's Rachel, Rachel Belgar? Belgar? Rachel <laughs> Zegler. Rachel Zegler. <laughs> the ancient demon what, uh, of the lost world. Share it. Uh, okay, I'll bring. It, I'll bring it up. Just gotta scroll past all the fucking. Pieces. Share it. Uh, here, this is this is it. Snow White news. Rachel Zegler reportedly blew audiences away with her performance Whoa. as Snow White and scored and scored. I'm just reading it verbatim and scored very high with viewers in a test screening. Well, well. and Andrew Burnett also got high scores during the screening for the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who can reply? Scores, huh? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> this is joyous news. After, after people started replying, they turned off replies. They did. <laughs> wow. Oh, dude, this thing is. Uh... I gave my critical analysis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is is there a movie out there aside from the Marvels that's as sure of a flop? Like this thing is gonna like. Um, I think it came out already. It was called uh, and Aquaman too. Yes. Oh, uh, that's, that's already out. That's you can't have stuff which is already out. Wait, did we say Aquaman? Aquaman two. Aquaman is it's gonna be uh, the Marvel. Aquaman. Aquaman. Say Aqua. Aqua. Shut up, American. Aqua. 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 You copied Aqua. 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 It's American Aluminium. creation. It's an American creation. Yeah. You pronounce Aqua. it like a fucking American. Yeah. It's a it's a language creation. Aqua. No, we improved it. All right. A lot of things improve over you time. You dumped it down. Like this puts MCU. me in the mood for Barbie okay, Girl. I'll say that the U is supposed to be in Aqua, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking limeys. I was listening to, to an American podcast a couple of days ago, and they were just suddenly randomly went off. And they're British. They, they was putting U's in everything. <laughs> I just started <laughs> laughing. I just died laughing. I was like, Gary! You just, the more time you spend in the UK, the more you realize, like, man, that needs a U right there. Let's yeah. In. <laughs> you still understand. Well, there's yeah, nothing you, to do. You point at a woman and you, and you go, you know what you need? A U. That doesn't really make any sense there. Well, uh -huh. right. He's a pickup artist. A, 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 U, a U. Gundam, they have a lot of time to think there. They're on a fucking island. Most of their, Look, most of their well, island is flat. They can't get anywhere in a car. And if you do, it's going to take you hours so you got to ride in a train. Now, granted, the trains run on time. I gave you the cheat code. You did, and the trains run on time. I'll give you that. Your trains no, are don't. better than ours. You got trains. lucky. Well, they did create the Reliant Robin, and that's a, a marvel of technicality. They, yes. And Mar Mauler's Welsh, so you to Mauler is a fucking female sheep. What? what? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. Don't... Tell me when I'm telling that, lies, Mola. Tell I me just, when I'm telling lies. Why am I catching strays all of a that sudden? Is <laughs> quickly. What, what, what did Mola do to you? <laughs> Jesus. Because we need to talk about right. racism. Let's that, have a let's have a whole podcast on racism. Today. I love it. What? <laughs> what's your thoughts? So, on so it? do you want to talk about Robin Hood? <laughs> so. Your favorite show. <laughs> I think I think the best thing that you can do. To uh, to own your detractors is go onto a podcast where <laughs> where the guy is wearing a disco ball as a head and uh, say that uh, people who wear hoodies and t-shirts and talk about how shit your show is look like fools. Hmm, interesting strat. Thanks. You're you're heels literally talking heels baby. heels versus babyface. He's literally talking to a talking disco ball. Don't underestimate Don't, the disco balls. Direct, direct. You show shit, and you're a clown. They should have been on you know, strike. Right. <laughs> Good thing they gave a nice little happy wave there. Un unlike bitches, I don't share DMs because I'm not a fucking bitch made piece of shit. Uh, but direct, direct said to me when we were actually talking about potentially having a conversation, he went, "You know, let's talk as gentlemen." I, I just, let's talk as gentlemen. And then, <laughs> literally within a couple of hours, he just go, everyone who doesn't like my show is a white racist himself. <laughs> and he's just like, where's the lie? 
<laughs> I'm just saying, nailed it. Nailed it. Like this is is that is that is that how a gentleman talk? Uh share share this real quick before they tell tell me I can't. Because this is a great headline. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed um, to be very sad. Very sad. Let me see. Can I? Oh, it's covering it. Get rid of it. It says it at the top here. Oh, God. Here, I'll share it. Oh, no. I'll share it. Ad block to the rescue. Yeah, I'm going to. Let's quick. Click the ad block. Ad block. Block. I love God damn it. I don't want to see the subscription options. Get fucked, <laughs> mainstream media. As strike wears on, actors turn to a familiar fallback job. <laughs> Where's my fucking pie, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my god, can I go can I go to a restaurant and have Robert Downey Jr. wait tables on me? That'd be great. <sighs> oh, Robbie's got money. Hey, Bobby, I would like the escargot and a plate of chips, please. So I guess one of the things they're asking for is 57 cents per subscriber per year. But I, is that for every streamer, every subscriber of every streamer? Oh, I thought that was the average woman's wage. Zing. Where's the <laughs> drum roll? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, that does add up to quite a bit. If you think about it, and if you also think about that, the streamers are losing money hand over fucking fist. <laughs> uh, yeah, it kind of is a big ask. It sounds very small. It does. And it, and it plays really good in public. Like that's just 50 cents per subscriber per year. And they're saying they can't afford it. What is it? What does it add up to a billion a year? They got to pay out a billion. Uh, oh, just on, a billion. Okay. Just a billion. Oh, shit. They can afford that. I got, I got that line. I got that here somewhere. But they are. Uh, but they're not making any money. Like, uh, I think the uh, oh. YouTube's making money. Uh, and um, God, there was a streaming chart out just recently, and YouTube's just destroying everybody. And Netflix is right behind, and everybody, like, uh, new YouTube has like 9.8%. Netflix is at 79 And then everybody else, else is in the two or one percentage. Mm. And uh, Paramount and Peacock are falling apart right now. They're absolutely oh. falling apart. So uh, Kurtzman can announce all the fucking Star Trek shows in the world. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to have a streaming. They're probably going to have to. I think Paramount's going to go to licensing, which would be smart. But, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, fuck the New York Times. But uh, that was funny. I saw. I just ran across that. And I was like, uh. the The actual headline is, as strike wears on, actors return to restaurants. That was the one I clicked on. They changed it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, what to eat? Oh, no, to wait tables. Yay. Um, yes. Take that, She-Hulk rider. Yeah. Get in the kitchen, bitch. The kitchen, of course, of your local restaurant. So according It'd to... It'd be really funny if the She-Hulk rider was waiting tables and maybe it's just like a chill sort of diner-type restaurant place and they've got maybe some TV playing. And She Hulk comes on automatically <laughs> for whatever reason. And the fucking like bartender's like, turn that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> no, some some the patron goes that shit. Some patron goes, twerk for me, okay? Just like you did in the show. Oof. What if it was yeah. uh Dave Schwartz? Remember when Dave Marvel waiting tables. took one of the most popular female characters that they had that wasn't an X-Men and then made the bad guys the fans? And had Megan the Stallion in it, and they had it twerking. Remember that remember time that? when I thought you were so remember, Stallion. Remember when remember, the big villain remember. was Doom Cock? Yeah, I know, dude. And they made him a balding white man. Remember that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was cool. That was cool. You know, South Park is gonna, I think, roast uh, all the genders. We'll see. Got to see, because I, I heard the episode's mostly about AI, but um, that clip certainly made the rounds. Um, oh, I'll be watching it. I see I've, you guys will be. Oh, we'll be watching it. We'll be reviewing it. I might do a video on it. Um, wow. 
because they've already called out like in a way uh, all the all you know uh, was it Stan's dad who was sitting there going you know all this woke stuff in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe really isn't working out <laughs> you know <laughs> God the end of that well, episode so is so I, great. I've seen the sentiment from you guys that like it's like well you know better late than never but like South Park have been making fun of PC shit for many years many like, years uh when they replaced the principal with PC principal that yes. shit was funny as fuck he was like this big tough chat a big tough chad man but that he was constantly he was like hyper snowflake you know what i mean like he comes in like i'm so awesome i'm so cool but you know don't use microaggressions I agree. Uh, I agree. But I think hitting the gender swap, like replacing everybody, I thought that would. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that they could have done that a couple of years ago. Easily. No, you're right on that. Yeah. But like, I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. No, better late than it. never. It's that it's it's I freaking love South Park. The streaming wars. If you guys haven't watched that one, it's so fucking good. The beep um And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff. Well, and like South Park clips get shared semi regularly. Like from the even way oldest series, like when Mr. Garrison gets the sex change. And yes. Stuff. Yes. Oh, wow. The... Yeah. No, no, dude, to Token and Tolkien. That was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> that was so <laughs> fucking good. Oh, oh that well, was Well, so I fucking good. love the song, the Safe Space song. You <laughs> yeah. remember that? My Safe dude, Space. The, the only movie I laughed harder at in a theater than the South Park movie was Team America. <laughs> it was Team yeah. America is like the, the hardest I've laughed in a movie theater ever. I can't believe I saw Team America with my family. Oh, dude. Cause... It was a different time. <laughs> I saw it with a bunch yeah. of people from the comic shop and we were dying. It was so It was a better good. time. It was a, a better time. better time. It was a better time. Everybody. And the world had a sense of humor. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. AIDS, 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 and yeah, and they said they'd never make another one of that because it was a ridiculously difficult movie to make. And it's like, yeah. no, please make another Gary, <laughs> I'm not from Hollywood. I'm not. Stop wasting my time. I'm not going to fuck your mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now <laughs> suck my God cock. It, now suck my cock. When a man puts another man's penis in a mouth, <laughs> it's a sign of trust. <laughs> it's a sign of trust, Gary. <laughs> wow. Now I've seen everything. Have you ever seen a man eat his own head? Well, then you haven't seen everything, and neither have we. <laughs> and neither have we. I lost my shit when it's I first said that. It's 9-11 times a thousand. <laughs> That's 910,000, 91,000. Jesus Kitty Fucking! I need an movies for that shit. Oh. Do you remember when uh, the, they're escaping? He goes, there he goes, going down Bakalaka Daka Street. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> that movie's so good. Oh, uh, what did, did we do for Drinkers? Was it Drinkers Open Bar? We we watched in America. What, what we watched it for something, didn't we? I wasn't invited. I was gonna say I wasn't invited to that. Yep. Oh, we well, might might not have been Drinkers Open Bar, but we did. Uh, we watched Team America. We discussed it on the. Uh, it might have been a drinker's stream, actually. We discussed it on. Well, hey, oh, cool kids. Speaking, yeah, cool speaking of the Film Actors Guild, how's that for yes. transition? Hey, you said the, you said the word. I said the word. Oh my god, uh, the strike by Hollywood adult pretenders may last all year. Uh, okay. Netflix, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so tired uh, of bad television. Yeah. Uh, right. It, you know, it's, it's so rare when we get something, it's like once a year, kind of, you know, there'll be some like, there's different tiers of good. There just is. There's like really fucking great. This is seminal. This is something special. That's the way I feel about one piece. And then there's Reacher, which is just a really good fun show. Like, a, you know, I'm not going to call it the greatest thing ever made. We are going to get season two in December. So mm. there's something to look forward to. But, like, the stuff I'm looking forward to, like, this year is Silent Night, which is just a silly, Ooh, it, yeah. it's like Death Wish and Punisher <laughs> on Christmas. And, uh, on Christmas? Yeah, on Christmas Day, you know. Uh, oh, I think they're like a drug, like Christmas drug. Oh. oh. Well, that's what so, I, we no. say at, or, you know, we say, you know, American, like, on. On Christmas Day. That's what I mean. 
Oh, okay. I don't need to explain myself to you fucking Yeah, you do. <laughs> and yeah, you do. Uh, we, we don't we don't got a fucking clue. What else am I looking uh I'm curious about Rebel Moon. It could be I complete do. shit. It yeah, probably will be. It. I'm curious about it though. <laughs> I'm like Rebel Moon curious. Rebel uh, Moon. Oh no, it's Button Moon. Never mind. What else is coming out this year? I mean Um Dune 2. Ah! Ah! Soon. So I did a video on it, but how, how funny is it that the box office projections are still like horrendously low for the Marvels, even though they gobbled up all those fucking IMAX screens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's tracking. Um, and I broke it down Imagine. in my video, but like uh, box office uh, pro tends to overestimate quite a bit. And they're still like saying this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. And it's based on the pre-ticket sales. So, going to be bad. Going to flop. I look forward to the videos from the quartering. <laughs> hey, he might be able to. Well, didn't he have a breeze shed? He has a breeze shed, so he can mm. have a breeze shed. I, I, you know, the hardest part about moving to San Francisco was abandoning my Game of Thrones gate. So, uh, oh. Game of Thrones paid. I needed a back fence. It was fucking falling apart. And thanks to all of your support over games, Game of Thrones completely, and, and my rage over Game of Thrones, I was able to put a gate in the backyard uh, that we ended up never using. <laughs> but it was supposed to like be able to park a car because there was an access road and we could park a car because parking's fucking hard in San Francisco. And it's even harder that when your car gets broken into all the fucking time. So uh, The San Francisco treat. That's it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the breeze shed. I don't know. What did Jeremy get for Ryan? He got Ryan for all his... Uh, he got Geeks Marvel. and Gamers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, got, he got Ryan Kinnell for all his... Uh, trouble with Yay. Bree. Uh, but yeah, the strike's going to last, according to Bloomberg, the rest of the year. Uh, year one of screen time is officially in the books. Oh, by the way, 95 days the actors have been, the Film Actors Guild has been on strike today. So we're almost at 100 days. Uh, and everybody said that this one would end probably within a week or two after the writer strike. Guess not. And nothing of value was. Nothing. I mean, okay, we're losing some red carpet gold. Some idiot. You know, uh, Rachel Zegler should be hitting the red carpet soon for uh, Mockingbird uh, fuck, yeah, Song uh, Jay, uh, whatever yeah. the fuck it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the the uh, hungering game. The hungering games. Oh, that trailer. The Austria looked. hungry game. And, and did you guys? It's any, a political take on World War Two. Uh, did you? Uh, I watched all those movies because I have a wife, and uh, like the first one wasn't bad. I didn't hate the first one. Seen but, two, the first two. Yeah, the, so the, the last first one was the, eh. the last one that was split into two were shit. Second one I, I saw, them. I thought was absolutely <laughs> most abysmal but thing I've ever you, seen. Have you seen the trailer for the new one? Oh, yeah, it looks absolute hot garbage. <laughs> Rachel Zegler looks like Rachel Zegler. She looks like <laughs> a four foot three uh, yeah. prima donna from Hollywood with a bunch of uh, fake attitude and a unibrow. That's what she looks like. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really excited about that movie. I, I don't can know. feel the empowerment. Who in the fuck anointed her as like the Latina queen of Hollywood, by the way? She did. Oh, okay. no, I'd say, I'd, no, oh, honest oh. answer, Disney did. Disney did when they hired her for um, for uh, Snow White based off her previous failed movie, uh, West Side Story, and then let her speak and it was an shit, absolute triumph. shit all over Snow White, talking everybody out of the theater. Yeah, she just has such amazing energy that, that you just can't really put your finger on. The level of douchery that she can emit is just gamma <laughs> radiation levels. And the beauty of it is she says whatever she wants and everyone that's around her just sort of goes, oh, my God, she's amazing. She's a triple threat. She can sing. She can dance. She can make you want to kill yourself. She's <laughs> And everybody's just like, oh, my God, she's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, the prince, he stalks Snow White. <laughs> weird. And even the girl interviewing her goes, yes, it's super weird. Like, oh, my fuck, man. I don't know what my point is. 
No, you're, you're, you 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 made your point. You you made a very good point. She is the most annoying fucking actress of Hollywood, and now has become the face of Hollywood. You put her face on a fucking thumbnail, <laughs> dude. It is free money. It's free money, baby. Yeah, uh, like she like she represents it more like Brie Larson than Brie Larson ever could. Ever could. You know, Disney has a hard on for women that are flat. Like Ziggler has no tits and Larson has no ass. And with their powers combined, I can't even come up with a good Captain Planet joke. Fucking finish it for me. <laughs> it's all good. Uh it'll be like the Savannah. The Savannah of Africa, of course. I think flat. I think she's dime store Jenna Ortega. That's all. Um it's it's a it's a it's a the, <laughs> look. When you have um, everything based around ideology, which we do have in Hollywood now. And no personality. It, it, mm -hmm. Absolutely no personality. But when everything's based toxic. around ideology, it just gives rise to these fucking scum. I mean, a lot of people have been trying to say, well, she's young. She's this. She's young. You know, she's, she's a lazy to... bent. She, well, she's, she's, you know, sometimes people are just twats. Yes. And I think Rachel Zegler is just a twat. There is, uh, if you go back and look at her other stuff, uh, which I've had to do because what you know, doing a couple of videos, you go back and you watch about. It. She's she's just been awful all the time, the whole fucking time. She's just been acting awful and awful and awful. And in an ideological world, this is her oyster now. This is her oyster. Who's who's gonna fire the black Latina? Uh, well, you know. Perceived black. I mean, he's fucking whiter than me. How is she? But, what? But well, that's that's you know, once you once you go into like, I'm Latino, I'm Latina, whatever, uh, male, female, whatever. Then you then you have the the fucking skin grade color, don't you? Because that's why they had West Side Story. You had you had people criticizing West Side Story, which was like full of Latino characters <laughs> by Latino characters, not the white ones they had in the sixties with fucking makeup on. And they were color grading the fuckers. That wow, is true. Why isn't there really dark, dark? They also, they also uh, spoke a lot of Spanish in that film, apparently, and didn't subtitle it. Can't imagine why oh. it flopped in America. Oh, wow. <laughs> subtitles, uh, uh, d Gary, you know why the word they were, subtitles. They were racist. Subtitles are racist. Subtitles are racist. Unless you're making Wait, a TikTok video. I missed video. the memo on that one. Subtitles are racist Yes, now? you need to figure yes. out Spanish immediately to watch yes. a movie or you're exactly. racist. Yeah, if yeah, you, you don't Welsh speak bigot. Spanish... That's your problem, you fucking white cunt. Uh, what? <laughs> Lo siento. Oh, I'm racist in another way. Just keep adding them on. Cerveza. Here, I gotta put it in my book. Silencio, so you, bigoto. But, but there again, then you <laughs> learn. This way. Then, then you learn Spanish, and then there'll be an article going, Cultural why appropriation. you're appropriating that language. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lose lose from start to finish. White people Ay, speaking Spanish. White people speaking Spanish is white supremacy. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my god. You colonizers. That, true, that probably exists already. That probably oh, yeah, already totally. exists. That probably five well, years. Wait, old. it was in Bobby. What's it? it? Remember the, the dad? He tries to speak a different yes, language. You're right. Oh yes. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, the dad's like learning Spanish to communicate with his asshole daughter. And she's yeah, like, and wow, his dad. Spanish wife. But he's somehow a racist. Oh, look, he's trying to appropriate our language. That's so cute. Oh, God. And it makes you wish you could have abortions at 16. I can't it makes wait. me wish I could fucking blow my brains out. Can't wait for Barbie, too. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> no, Ken, I'm not going. Uh, <laughs> Your one of screen time is officially in the books. Thanks to those who have come to our conference in the past week. I hope you all had a good time. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Uh, if you told me 10 years ago that my newsletter, oh, who gives a fuck about talking? God, get, never mind. I don't even want to read this. You're just talking about your newsletter. I just wanted to hear about the Hollywood strike. Yeah, okay. 17 paragraphs down. Uh, things you need to know. Bob Iger is in the hot seat again. Activist investor Nelson Peltz has amassed a stake in Disney. Uh, the number one movie in the world, Taylor Swift's concert film, has grossed $96 million in North America and more than $100 million worldwide, which is just unreal, and it's going to be a lot more than the Marvels. That's the part that's just like... <laughs> She's going to hit a billion. <laughs> she could hit a billion. She could. She could. I hope Taylor so. Swift's fans just mobilize. You really underestimate how many single, lonely... White women there are in the world. They're not. It's, never mind single. 
They're married and everything. Yep. I think Single, really... married, doesn't matter. The Taylor Swift fan, they, they're, they're teenage crazy. girls. They're through to middle-aged women. It's huge. It's as big as Barbie. It's like Barbie, but with a with a actual real life woman. My God, they should they should have cast here. Taylor God. Swift as as Captain Marvel. <laughs> they they, 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 they would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> they cast Taylor Swift as Marvel. We bash it, and we end up dead one day. Oh yeah, no people will be coming to our house, and yeah, yeah, we're we'd be in trouble. Uh, Microsoft, but I'll still bash her because her music sucks i like one song uh but her music is just uh algorithm. you know i've never heard a tune um so there's an article that came out in the atlantic paul joseph watson watson did a video on it like five years ago that explains like the current era of pop music that was created by like four uh producers that used to be in metal bands and they basically uh found an algorithm that works where songs have a normal amount of like one or two hooks and they've like put they double or triple it or something like that i'm, I'm not doing it justice but read the article i think it explains mm -hmm. it pretty well uh and basically how music's trash but um and also because it, it went into the digital disposable era so you're not really buying albums anymore mm -hmm. uh you know and like the all the music i buy now is soundtracks on vinyl or old albums on vinyl all i buy it's pretty cool i got the daredevil soundtrack the mondo daredevil soundtrack it's fucking awesome uh yeah house of dragon soundtrack finally came out in vinyl got that Indeed. that's all awesome good shit uh microsoft corp has completed its 69 billion acquisition of activision what do you uh fellow gamers what do you think about that um Whoopee! it's anti it's anti competition it's it's just more trash for the trash western trash gods in gaming yeah. Oh, if you bought stock. Uh, no. Fuck Activision Blizzard, scum company, scum people. Uh, and, act, you know, Microsoft, they're desperate for a W. They'll do anything they can. They've clearly paid the right people off. It goes against all kinds of uh, anti-competition laws. But uh, don't worry about it. People yeah. got paid. People behind the scenes got paid. Sounds like YouTube. Yep. Oh, we got some news on that, too. Did you hear about the Article 230 thing in L.A.? I thought that was the Chinese dentist that used in to In L.A.? Yeah, uh, we'll get to that. Let this be good news. Oh, it's it, it's not. <laughs> um, God the Hollywood it. strike might be just, uh, just last all year. Hollywood summer from hell was supposed to be over. The writers in the studios cut a deal. The actors were expected to follow soon after. Not so fast. Negotiations between the studios and the actors broke down on October 11th. Uh, right before our conference began, Comcast Corp's uh, whoever, one of our four studio chiefs leading the management side of the negotiations, was careful to say, not to say too much about that night. The studios had yet to issue an official statement. They did later that evening. Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos, also part of the negotiations, was a little more forthcoming in the next morning. We had a very productive talk going. What happened last night is they introduced this levy on subscribers on top of this deal. The studios and guilds had been debating uh, debating ways to reward talent for uh, success in streaming, something that they haven't been open about. The writers and studios created a performance-based bonus model which the writers are going to regret. <laughs> Where scribes could be paid extra if their shows were watched by a certain number of viewers. Um, just, a, just incidentally, an article came out that uh, viewership across the board on streaming is down. Way down. Disney Plus. Uh, during, <clears throat> during the time Ahsoka came out, Little Mermaid and Elementals came out on Disney Plus, uh, the, the, they tried to spin it. They go, it didn't drop as much. The viewership oh, on Disney Plus didn't drop as much for that Ahsoka Save Star Wars show. The actors rejected that idea. They initially pushed uh, for a share of all streaming revenue for major no. platforms. They no. had uh, <laughs> since revised blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> The Film Actors Guild objected to Sarandos's characterization. The actors' negotiators aren't content to accept the same terms as the writers. So they're beating a bunch of divas, basically. Uh, so it's going to go on for a while, and uh, peace will remain. Unfortunately, the late-night hosts are back, but I don't think anybody—does anybody even care? 
God, no. I mean, sorry, did you say something? <laughs> no. Because I've just zoned out through all this because I don't give a fuck. When it when their streaming service is going to realize that just because you have a streaming service and the power to put on whatever you want on the streaming service doesn't mean that you just put on slop and then say, money, please. The please is optional, by the way. Money, yeah. it's like PSP. Money. Is, is the Lady Grave Master out there? I can't find that article. But there's an article with a chart. With a chart. That, uh, and it's it's something like uh, streaming down across Hollywood. I, I read it this morning, and now I can't find it. But the other one I wanted to talk about real quick is 2.30. Uh, uh, LA like Chinese dentist, yeah. Judge. Uh, section. Hey, Gundam, while he's finding that out, Hit DSP, me. DSP's lost 206 members in under a week, in a week. Oh, yeah, that's not surprising. He lost, uh, I, only iced coffee or something, the, mm. the transsexual person who yeah. just transitioned randomly out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. I'm a, I'm a girl now. That's how it works. That's why we've got our well, wonderful hey, Dylan Mulvaney. When World War Three yeah. starts, that'll have, uh. There'll be a lot of uh <laughs> these times, I'll be a fucking that girl. won't matter because they just changed the uh laws around. So now women have to be selected for the draft as well. So you change Good. your gender, it don't matter. You're still going to the meat grinder. Equality. I love equality. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely dark, toxic. Um, big tech's favorite legal shield takes a hit. Now, uh, for those of you who listened to my streams two or three years ago. Might be a couple of you out there. You may remember me talking about, you know what could destroy the entire uh, ecosystem? Uh, the system of streaming videos uh, is not the federal government. It will be California government. They, uh, mm. they, they tried to uh, do this with the gig economy, and they did make some changes to where my wife had to, like, rework all her contractors and stuff. Uh, and I'm like, they're going to, so if you're a contract worker in California, there was some regulation put on it basically, uh, cause all the, cause of the gig economy. Um, and it, it was just a way to get more taxes. Uh, they, they are going to do something like that with TikTokers, YouTubers, uh, any, any form of that they're going, and it won't be the federal government first. It will be California, even though most of the California popul uh, politicians, if not all, are completely paid off by Silicon Valley, right? Uh, but there will be a time where I said California will be hard up for money. Things are good now, but ca California will be Things hard up right for now. money. No, well, I, I was saying this three years ago. So. Oh, three years ago. Okay. So it was in 2019, so four years ago. It was it was during the Trump economy, and I'm like, things are good now, but once California is hard up for money, they will turn on them. Now, this isn't exactly that, but this is the first sign of uh, it. And it's a fucking L.A. judge, right? L.A. judges. No surprise. They can talk all day long, but, like, if uh, these companies mobilize, they will crush whatever an L.A. judge thinks. But – First sign of it. That's all. A Los, An a Los Angeles judge has declined to dismiss a series of blockbuster lawsuits against Meta, TikTok, Snap, and Google, arguing their platforms are intentionally designed to addict and fuel mental health disorders in teenagers, <laughs> increasing the likelihood um. they will have to potentially face or settle billions of dollars of product liability. Now, in the uh, byline, I'll get to you right in a second, uh, Mueller. Uh, in the byline, it says a Los Angeles judge has found Meta. Snap, TikTok, uh, can't wield Section 2, 230 to escape claims. Similar lawsuits against tobacco and opioid manufacturers. No lawsuits against vaccine manufacturers. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, uh, that's that's, that's you they, wake up. they're paying your government. <clears throat> have led to bankruptcies and billion-dollar payouts. So you're saying that an algorithm that your child might be watching, the child you're not supervising. Yeah. Is responsible <laughs> that 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 that's equal to the addiction of opioids <clears throat> and tobacco. I gave my child to a television and computer screen to raise. I'm offended and outraged. And Basically, the real problem here is TikTok. Everything else kind of seems like a moot point. It wasn't until TikTok hit that all the zoomers went fucking crazy. What you mean the Chinese spyware? Yeah, yeah. exactly. 
I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder why. Well, here's the deal, though. Like, uh, you can't take out just TikTok. You'd have to take out all of them. And again, this is this to me. This is PMRC shit. This is the straight up. The government's gonna come in, and uh, the last thing I want is the government coming in and fucking fixing anything. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what? Supervise your kids. Supervise your fucking kids. And uh, what it might do is just exacerbate a problem that was already there. Uh, TikTok, tobacco, opioid, does it, 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 it's, you have an addictive gene that it triggers. So, so you're an addict before that in most cases. Uh, so that would happen here. And that would, could be dealt with through parent, parental supervision. But if we start like, oh, anything we start watching, Fluffy agrees with me. Yes. Mm. Um, anything we start watching. Uh, what 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 about a TV show? We don't like that TV show. That TV show is addictive. Uh, this is going to open a door on regulation that will uh, that will lead to. A, you thought it was bad during the elections. You thought like the suppression of free speech was bad. Then it'll be a thousand times worse. A thousand times worse. Looks like I'm going back to the loading dock. Yeah, 2024 is shaping up to be a hell of a year. Yep. So, uh, Mahler, what's your take on this? Just you know, without like reading, knowing all the details, but, uh, and this dude, this will probably get shot down on appeals court, but what do you think? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what to make of it entirely. It's kind of a surprise. Is it a bigger deal that I'm realizing or a smaller deal that I'm realizing? Maybe To me, it's know. just usual California bullshit. They're definitely running out of money because everybody with a, with a sliver of common sense and an income that's respectable, they're fleeing the country like rats. The state. So now. Oh, go on, go on. I'm sorry. It, no, you you've lived there like longer than I did. Hit me with it. No, uh, during the tobacco lawsuits, the states made billions of dollars, billions. And during, you know, uh, big pharma when they were going after big pharma for the for uh, the op making opioids definitely more addictive, and then paying doctors to pass them out to people who potentially could be addicts, which has led to a fentanyl crisis that we're still living into uh, to this fucking day under the Obama administration, by the way, who didn't do fucking shit about it. Other Obama. Than some people. Yeah. Um, so yes, this is a stream. This is a revenue stream for the States. That's all this is. That's all it is. It's not to fix anything. They don't give a fuck about your children, the children who have died, who have self mutilated uh, the children who are transitioning. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the parents the parents, the parents, uh, heavy metal music didn't make your kid commit suicide. Video games aren't causing violence. Rock and uh, roll, dude. Remember yep, rock and roll? Same fucking <clears throat> shit. Uh, we won't no. have D Schneider to protect us. <laughs> Little sellout bitch, D Schneider. I am gonna take it up the ass. Yep. You finished my line I'm right taking there. it for far less money. Um, are they <laughs> are algorithms designed to addict? I think they're. I mean, are they designed? You would have to prove that. Good luck. Good I say luck. TikTok is fairly addictive. Every chick I've dated that's been on it has been influenced by that fucking app. It is wild. Um, maybe isn't that a red flag to not date somebody? Not date somebody. Listen, listen, listen. We all have our vices here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my behavior and my attitude towards like my wife is not based on like my action figure purchasing or what they what the action figures might say to me secretly when the camera's off. <laughs> all the time. They talk to me. They talk to me. It's like Toy Story. It's real. Mine is very abusive. You're a fat little piece of shit. You need to knock Why? out 100 Why more... did you have to call me that? <laughs> you need to knock out 100 more sit-ups. And I'm like, of course, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I do a 1,000 every day. In the first order, advancing litigation, raising a novel public nuisance theory from hundreds of governments, officials, and parents and minors. Here, the thing is, we're in this like vague thing where they can bring in psychologists and psychiatrists and just fucking make shit up. Uh, it's, this is so fucking dangerous, man. It is so dangerous. Uh, but people are probably going to go fucked. You know, t you know, uh, with TikTok, uh, it's not even on my phone. I don't I don't look at it. I don't care. I think shorts are lame. Uh, I have a I agree with you, my, brother. I am my, particularly against shorts. 
Mm, big time. What? That's well, no, you just made one, Mahler. You made Hypocrite. one. Hypocrite. It was a 45 minute video. That's a short. Hey. But by regular human standards, apparently that's still relatively long. You so. experience time dif differently than us mere humans. Okay. Yeah, all my Fine. handlers I'll are like, you got to do shorts. shorts. It's the future. The, the, the horrendous tiny videos that. Do they still only do it in like mobile format as well? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Next time I get yelled at to do shorts, I'm going to use you guys as examples. Yeah. Nerd Roddick doesn't have to do shorts. Why do I? And you're like, you're not doing his numbers. Now get to the fucking computer, you idiot. <laughs> uh, my my part, uh, manager, like, stop. He stopped asking. I like, don't bring up shorts. I only had to say it once. And he doesn't bring it up. You only had to say it once. There's yeah. a lack of respect I receive. Well, apparently you guys have got, like, I've got a, I got, maybe I got the unicorn. I got the good one. I got the nice one, you know, but, uh, it's I had a like the rest phenomenal of one dicks. and they got promoted and they got, pro <laughs> <laughs> well, they like, were so good. Could you be yes, <laughs> good at your job, please don't get promoted. I, know, I, just I want like, to keep no. you forever. <laughs> no. you, you can stop sharing. I just wanted to bring that up. Cause that's. It's just the beginning. I don't think anything's going to come of this. I think it gets shot down. They're, they have too much power. But uh, someday they will find a way to start fleecing these companies. They'll pass it on to you. And it becomes yep. another revenue stream yeah, for yeah, the yeah. state so they can fund their uh, – the uh, what Chris – I heard – you know I don't know if Chris coined the phrase, but it's the first time I heard it from the great uh, Frank Gore. His parties? Oh, no. That's, that's what he <laughs> goes – no. That's what he goes to. Uh, but There's a the, theme with you today, Gundam. But, There's a uh, theme. I'm just saying. Well, a lot of these, piss today, yeah. These could be mm. confused with piss parties. He called uh, the homeless crisis the homeless industrial complex because they make oh, money. Oh, that is genius. They make yeah. money off the homeless people. They get tax money for how many homeless people are in their city. It's become quite the little money maker for cities. People. Fucking human beings. People. And, and, and it's, it's, uh, it's sick. It's fucking sick. So that's why it's like we're living in cyberpunk. It really feels like it, but it's so much gayer like and lamer. <laughs> it's like a gay cyberpunk. Oh, gayberpunk, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we'll write the comic, Mahler. Sweet. All right, what are we doing? Now that's a cute dog. Oh, yes, he is. He's cute. Is that Rocco? He's Yay. So <gasps> He's so, so well behaved, unlike Fluffy. Oh, wait until there's someone at the door. And then he barks. Okay, he can go. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, d is Lady Gravemaster out there, X-ray girl? Can she look at like uh, that? I have not heard from her. She I'll must not be out there. again. I'll try to look for it again. You want to read a super chat real quick? I'm looking. Sure. I can do I'm that. setting up my Skull Island Rise of Kong stream. Roughly. We, we figured that. You say um, the word me and ass could riff. Yeah. <laughs> DSP, oh go. My oh, my God. <laughs> well, DSP's most recent uh, demands for money, I have to say, were quite interesting. They were better than Ahsoka's ever been, really. What was his, what's his How new so? shit? Watch the new shtick. Um, everyone that makes fun of him is an untalented hack. <laughs> and they're jealous of him. Okay, yes. Well, he hit the nail on the head there. Got us. We also have to point out that, like, Friday Night Tights just pales in comparison to Friday Night Fights. Let's just get that straight. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. It... Really? Yeah. I got more work Why to do. Sorry. Joke? What's a Friday Night Fights? It's, it's uh, uh, the idea DSP lifted from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Oh, he does. He does. He does Friday night fights where he plays Street Fighter Six, gets beaten hands down by people, and then screams at how everyone is a scrub and crap and lag and uh, <laughs> pattern play, pattern play, and uh, he's the only great player online no trying to do things yes but but um yeah when dsp yeah. does a pattern that's skill and mix up when someone else yes. does a pattern it's trash by the yes. way if you're, if you're a scrub you're a guy who thinks he's fly and is also known 
as a buster. As a buster. Always oh, talking about I what he like wants and just sits on his broke ass. <laughs> That's a scrub. That is DSP. <laughs> that sums him up to a T. He really right did. There. He really did Friday night fights, and it's supposed to be off of Friday night tights for, for real. Yeah, you want to like? That's, I, that's I don't. Hilarious. I don't know if it's meant to be based off Friday night tights. I think it. Just, yeah, come um, on, it's Dark Side Phil for God's sakes. Remember, he changed his show to the Level One podcast because that's... Team Star said he was stuck on Level One. That is very true. He's been streaming for years, longer than F and T was around, and all of a sudden he comes up with Friday night fights. Pure coincidence. I exactly. Friday night tights comes from Friday night lights. That's where it really comes from. It uh, sounds like a go-go bar. Well, no, it's uh it's uh tech it's well a movie, right? it's a show about football, oh. but Texas football has Friday night lights because here in Texas, they have like straight up stadiums for high, uh high school football that are fucking mm. nice. They take their football mm. very seriously here. But Friday Night Lights is a show, um, and we were, we wanted a name for the Friday show, and somebody in chat said, how about Friday Night Tights? Because we cover men in tights. I'm like, all right, let's, get it. let's do it. Sounds good. Mm. Brilliant marketing. The chat has come up with, uh, as came up with Real BBC, Chaz, chat came up with Forbidden Frontier. Chat came up yep. with Friday Night Tights. Chat came up with EFAP as well. There you go. The chat Ooh. knows all. And deer speed took them all. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate grifter. <laughs> am, hey, I, am I the only lost. guy who fucking feels sorry? I feel sorry for that guy, man. No, you it's, don't know. You see, you, Gary, you're Gary, Gary, you're using your human empathy to get in the way because you don't know. You don't know the law. Hey, Gary, what if I, uh, what if I decided to do a stream to make money by saying my parents are just about to fucking die? And if you don't give me money, uh, I won't you be able might to, not see be able them. to see them. Yeah, and this is the last time I'll ever see them alive, probably. And they did they die? Of no, course not. Alive. <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't he do a react stream of nine eleven? Like a, yes, that was like yes. uh, about two or three weeks ago. On, on September the tenth, he he reacted to nine eleven. <sighs> okay. What? He's a content juggernaut. Like you just don't understand how this dude is just. He's the next level. Gary, he he reacted to my Starfield rant. Oh yeah, I sent you that. Now I remember. Yes, he yeah. did. And then we, but, yeah, then I did fair, the video. Everybody did. Like <laughs> everybody <Yeah>. did. <laughs> I sent it to Az, and I immediately start bouncing ideas to him. I'm I like, this people, is how it should go. I'm like, look, the entire skeptic community that I didn't even know was still alive is talking about Az. What the hell? <laughs> They just they just went wait a minute. To say this opportunity to earn ad revenue. Holy shit, let's ride this dick. The ones that are oh, still alive, yeah. I should say, Mahler. <laughs> what was his name again? Yeah, the all three of them. Atheist, all three of them. Right? Yeah, who? Yeah. Yeah, the amazing <laughs> atheist. And then there's Jeff. What's his name? Goldblum. Hol Holiday? I was gonna say Dunham. Maybe he wasn't <laughs> part of it. Maybe he wasn't part of it though. I vaguely... Was it was it amazing atheist trying to ride your dick a little while ago? Yeah, yeah. He's going yeah. after everybody that's uh, got something Bro, going on. Amazing atheist invented nude rotic, Okay. Oh yeah, the the amazing atheist invented talking about things. Holy shit, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's like how DSP invented Let's Plays, but he called it playthrough. <laughs> and he inspired oh. PewDiePie. He invented playthroughs and he called them Let's Plays. Who would who would was you? It, was it okay? Which way round was it? Uh, if it wasn't for DSP, there'd be no PewDiePie. Okay. Pretty much. Pioneer. So who invented movie criticism on YouTube? I don't know. Um, um, you mean movie criticism? Doug Walker. Full stop. <laughs> Siskel and Ebert? <laughs> fucking... Oh, yeah, those guys. You mean that movie criticism that's always existed, but when there was a platform... Another platform to put it on apart from just television. Somebody did that. Somebody did that and said, like, hey, this person created talking shit about movies. Something <laughs> nerds have been doing since <laughs> movies were invented. So I don't know who invented it. I don't know. I mean, somebody could have come up with the idea. Maybe we should record this. It was Jennifer Lawrence. It was Jennifer Lawrence. It was Jennifer Obviously. Lawrence. I am so sorry, Jennifer. Oh, look at the little uh, I found the article. I got to Google that. X-ray girl. 
It's mm. it, it's because the headline has something to do with the NFL, but I dug a little deeper because you know fuck the NFL. But um, is the NFL the first football team show organization to put it on YouTube? Yes. No. Oh. I copied that. Can I copy this link? Hang on. There we go. Because I need to read it over here. All right. Uh, so if we scroll down a little bit, they talk about how broadcast is up because and the NFL's back. Mm. It's bizarre. Like, bizarre how that happens. Uh, but then they get down. Uh, Prime Video uh, hit its highest mark in the last two years of monthly platform rankings, also thanks to the NFL. Thanks to the NFL. Uh, then we go down here. Nielsen's gauge rankings for September 23 are below. Platform streaming, 37.5% for TV use. Cable, 29.8%. Broadcast, 23%. Other, 9.6%. Streaming services, YouTube, 9%. Netflix, 7.8%. Prime Video, 3.6%. Hulu, 36 Disney, 1.9%. <laughs> 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 One point <laughs> nine. Whenever As laughs like this, a thirty-year smoker, I always lose it. I do too. <laughs> and that's that's not like far ahead of Tubi. That's that's not far ahead of Tubi. What the fuck is Tubi? Tubi, like I've free. heard of it. This is the first time I've ever seen that word in my life. Um, and Max, which is lower than Disney Plus, but Max is turning a profit. Because they, uh, because they have a you know, catalog that people actually want to watch. Yeah, and it turned more of a profit. It was if it was HBO Max. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd agree. I, I, yeah, Max is a fucking retarded name. And if you want to, for one, one of the reasons, uh, well, HBO has a stigma, and we want to go family friendly. And you, you went to the one that's called Skin of Max that we called Skin of oh, Max. Oh, good old days. Good old days, baby. Oh Remember, my, beating off Skinamax, those yeah. Farrah Fawcett movies. Oh, and what about uh, Real Sex? That was on HBO, though. Real Sex. Yeah, that was awesome. I've had that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know about that. I was Congratulations. So yes. here, here's my fair uh, streaming as a whole, however, stream, slipped some for the second straight month after hitting a high in July. Viewers spent three, uh, thirty-seven point five percent of their time with streaming, which is still the biggest share among platforms. But is down from 38.3% in August. YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, Max, Peacock, 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 small declines. They all had small declines. Uh, where, this is the, uh, where's the one where they said Ahsoka, though? Did they change it? I've never heard of Tubi. I've never they heard did. of fucking Roku. What the Pluto hell are those? Pluto TV. Tubi, I've heard like, of Pluto. I've heard of Pluto. I haven't. What's, what's on Pluto TV? Pluto's like uh, free TV too. Planets. Hang on, I must have looked at a different article. Oh. Did you say planets? It'd be dwarf planets, maybe. Gas yeah. giant. <laughs> Damn it, I must have read it. Why are you discriminating? A... Why are you being discriminatory? I must have read, read it on a different. Oh, hang, it. Uh... <laughs> uh, hang on. I must have read it on a Because there's what they specifically oh, say there's a time where. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. I don't know if they anyway. change it. Anyway, I read <laughs> it earlier. <laughs> I, fuck DSP. Um, I, I read it earlier, and um, uh, they, they specifically mentioned that Disney had a drop during the time, they, which is, again, this they, they dropped to 1.9 during the premiere of Ahsoka, Little Mermaid, which they said set records on their platform, and Elementals. So, so they still declined after all of that. Isn't that sad? I'm heartbroken. I am too. This I'm is my not. heartbroken face. I'm not. <laughs> wow. I should remember to bookmark so stoic. Things when I'm reading them when I just wake up. Uh, not, as stoic, not as stoic as Sabine. She can <sighs> do a stoic. So you, Sabine is so badass. It was hilarious when they introduced her. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm just like, I bet she's going to take the speeder and drift under the X Wing. And she fucking does it. And I literally fell out of my chair. Yeah. Applauding. Just like, <laughs> applauding. Yeah, that's it. it. That I was it. applauding spiritually by sinking into the floor <laughs> and questioning my existence. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's horrifically bad to the point where people who are even praising it, Star Wars theory, had to admit afterwards that, uh, wow, the Nothing ratings, 
the ratings really sucked for this. People didn't like it. The oh, best was IGN doing a review. Because he was saying it's still better than Andor because it had lightsabers in it. Andor oh, I didn't. saw that. It's like, uh, it's not better than Andor. Uh, from what I saw of Andor, Andor is boring, but it's better than Ahsoka, for sure. And the lightsaber is good of Jedi. So if it's not a Jedi, then it should be a lightsaber. Also, well, the lightsaber into... battles are so uninspired. To get into the mindset a little bit, I was I, I had no idea, but like uh, I think I mentioned this before on another stream, but Star Wars was very disappointed with the episode, and I was like, okay, why? And the, someone posted this series of clips where he's getting really excited for the witches and the spells they were casting, and I'm already the kind of Star Wars fan that's like, what the fuck are the witches? Why? Yeah. Are <laughs> fuck off! But you know, apparently there's a lot of Star Wars fans that like the witches. So I was like, okay. So he was like really excited because he couldn't wait for them to cast the spell that he'd been predicting for a while of what they were going to bring bring up. And like when the scene started up and they were doing the little chanting and stuff, he was like, oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And I, and I was like, what is he expecting to happen? Because I didn't know it was going to be zombies. I don't know anything about them. But, just, but that's what it turned out to be. And um, he, he was like, here he comes, Darth Maul. Darth Maul's coming, here he comes. <laughs> and, uh, and of course... Uh, <laughs> and of course, this, the, they're just zombies. And then he immediately goes, oh, it's just zombies. Where's Darth Maul? What the hell? And I legit was like, why in the fuck did he think Darth Maul was going to turn up? Because it like, would have been better? <laughs> Maybe? It would have genuinely been better. I suppose. Just because it would be like, oh, look, it's spooky ghost Darth Maul. But uh, I... Uh, apparently that's why he found the dip so disappointing was that Darth Maul didn't show up. But I just that was the only thing. To me, well, there's a couple of things I guess, like the fact that there was no story. But um, to me, it captured like how much Star Wars his fandom has splintered into like so many huge and different <laughs> factions. It's like there's a big group out there that just want to see everything they're familiar with. There's a big group that want all the crazy subversive nonsense from like TLJ. There's a big group of people who. They happen to be fans of those movies that came out, those old ones, if you guys remember. Those was, they were called like Star War. Star I can't War remember one. anymore. The Star, Star War. War. And maybe the, a third the Star one. War. It's like a, the... war, a war in a star. And then you have the prequel fans and the fans of the TV shows, and then the people who are like touristing this whole thing and like Boba Fett and Kenobi, those were great. Yeah. I got I got my book. I was watching um I was watching those compilation ones the Grizzy makes on the YouTube channel. Um, Grizzy! Like, oh, 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 not that Grizzy, one. not Grizzy. Oh, no, Grizzy. okay. Oh. The new one, uh, it ends. It's Loki Loki season two, episode two. It yes. ends with two of these reactors going, hey, guys, if you could hit the like button because uh, we, we, we did not like the amount of views we got on the last video. Yeah, you guys did not get it up to 10,000 views. And the guy's like, yeah, I've spoken to other re reactors. Apparently, views are going down for reactors. And it's such a, like, you guys don't do anything. Like, what? That's How like what like? Darkseid Phil does when he tells people to interact with his content and give a like. Whoa, he goes a little bit beyond that. He goes and fucking wage audits them at the end of a stream. Oh, wow. And threatens people. Didn't I won't get play a lot of stream. streams. Didn't get a lot of tips this stream. I mean, I don't, I don't know what went wrong. Why didn't I get money? Why I, didn't he give me money? I haven't watched any of these react. I've watched Grizzy. Go subscribe to Grizzy. Um, I've watched his reaction videos. But are, are there like long periods of silence while they're watching the show? I I think they cut around him and stuff. But like seriously, there is a whole. You know, like, uh, if any of you have seen what we do on EFAB TV for reactions, it's like, hmm. we want to edit it so that it's basically, you're never, like, watching the show exclusively. The only time you'll ever watch the show is, is context for the reaction that's coming up, usually laughing, talking about why something doesn't work, and then there's before and after the show where we just talk about the show and what's happening in it. I didn't realize that is that is abnormal, doing it that way. That is a weird way to do it. And it's like, what do you mean? What's the way to do it? And it's like, Apparently, the, the normal way is to you start the video and then you say, like, today we're watching season two, episode two. Here we go. You press play and then you go, ha ha. Ooh. Oh, it's oh, red. Oh, oh evaded. Oh, oh ooh. He loki uh, neighbors. Hey, they said loki in it too in the last yeah. one. Oh. They loki He loki when his uh, when the shadow horns come up. He loki Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, yeah, the, the, yeah, they're like, like, wow, that was good. Subscribe. And it's like, what? What? 
Okay. Could you at least tell me why you liked low it? Effort. Low effort. <laughs> if I did a react, you could watch me sleep while watching Ahsoka. It would get more views. Hey. It would be you more interesting. Out your money it would get more views. To me. The other thing that's affecting them it is, uh, I mean, aside from they don't really react to the content, and I can't believe people watch that stuff, but that's fine, um, is nobody cares about Loki. Nobody gives a fuck about the show at all. Uh, no. I've been checking Samba TV regularly. Uh, they were able to post up a a finale number for Ahsoka pretty quick, like within a few days of it coming out. They haven't posted shit about Loki season two, episode one, and we are getting episode three in a couple days. Oh, I uh, ah, I just actually replied to Samba during the stream saying, "Do you have any Loki?" I think that, like I said, I think they're waiting for enough days to <clears throat> accumulate like a million. So maybe it needs a couple more days <laughs> to accumulate a million. It is strange that uh, that's not popping up, but whatever. Uh, we'll find out with the Nielsen's, but you can just tell across the board, Mahler, because at the end of that Grizzly video, again, they say we talked to other people, other um, yeah. reactors, and their views were down too. I saw that the very first day where people were talking about reactor views being down on Loki because there's no interest in the show. Yeah, like the the industry they're a part of is only thriving for as long as the emotional experience they're um, sort of validating is one the yeah. audience is having. Yes. And if the audience isn't having it, then there's no reason for the audience to go to a video where you're excessively happy about him Loki-ing if you don't feel the same way. Yeah, it's it's fake uh, reaction. The vast majority of reaction channels are just based up based up on on fake so, reactions, over reactions. I want to ask that <clears throat> the Disney Marvel stands this: if hypothetically nobody's interested in Loki, uh, not so hypothetically, uh, the Marvels is predicted to be not just a flop, an abysmal flop, mm. and Marvel publicly fired the directors and writers. Of a show they shot eight, eight, eight fucking episodes for. Daredevil, one of the most popular Marvel characters, the 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 most well-made, the most popular TV show they have ever done. No, it's not Miss Marvel. It's uh it's Daredevil at 99%. There is some fucking justice in the world. Uh <laughs> so what are you defending at this point? What 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 are you trying to defend? Corporation. Do you, <clears throat> corporation. Do you like to see men eat pie? Is that your thing? <laughs> In the absence of God, we now have Disney in the House of Mouse. Mm -hmm. Well, bear in mind, uh, Gary, if you were like, if you represented uh, a sizable amount of viewership that they could make use of, they would legit respond to you being like, "Oh, we don't, we don't like Loki. What do we like? We we like Daredevil. Daredevil. We like Daredevil. Daredevil's great. Daredevil. We love Daredevil. It's, it's um, it's 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 very corporate because it's it's a response to uh. IP. It's a response to name, brand. It's brand response. It's like, oh, he vaded. Ah, oh, he did a low key. It's just brand response. There's no actual attachment to no love source there. material, <laughs> characters, uh, story development, art, nothing. It, it's just make him do the thing. It's a it's like a it is like going to the zoo. Like a Pavlovian and just, response. And, yeah, and, and they're just like, oh, make it, make it bounce the, 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 the ball on its nose. Oh, it did it, Loki. How many of them do you think over time have a moment where they pause and go, what happened to me? Why am I here? <laughs> After every video. <laughs> I used to actually watch things and enjoy them. Like, <laughs> but now, like, where am I? I just it sounds you. like me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's still us, actually. Just different, different arcs, different positions. Yeah, it's a slightly different path we've traveled. I feel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> being in an existential crisis is kind of your brand now, Gundam. So, or it has been. So it's okay. It's all good. It's like, it's like just take Director X for a quick example. Director X is doing all this, all this thing. You're a bunch of racists. This, I know that. He's like, dude, do you know that you're addressing the community that deals with cringe TV? That's yeah. what we do. And if and if you are if you're going after that, you're essentially have no awareness whatsoever what we actually do with shows like this. Terrible, terrible shows. So he's trying to play the political game. You're all a bunch of racists. You're all a bunch of white incels yelling out. And our audience is just like, make another episode, take it to piss out of that. I was shit. About to say, as 
It's like, don't come after this section of the internet. This is like a fucking half your audience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> trying to support the show, okay? This, like, yeah, this is more of the audience trying to do something to take the shit that we're getting and make it entertaining. Uh, to directly uh, respond to one statement made uh, when he mentioned that if you guys were in a room with us, and I'm assuming yeah. it was him and the disco ball globe uh, guy he was talking yeah. to, would you talk like this? Would you give us this yes. much shit? Uh, more. <laughs> yeah. Have you... Have you, you been watch an us? episode of Friday Night Tights, <laughs> <laughs> and and you'll soon get yeah the, yeah they would actually yeah yeah. Uh, if there was ever recordings of the pre-show, <laughs> but please, I want you to do another video. Go, don't you know who I am? Can you do that? Can you say, don't you know who I am? I can, and then I'll just bring Mauler along to go. No. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, who are you? Direct to <laughs> Good reference, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gary gets it. Gary yep. gets it. Gary gets it. That's what we Gary call a deep, deep cut oh, of a deep cut of a deep a, cut. That was a big oh, oh, Deepest of deepest cuts, and boy, did it cut deep. It did. That's why we love Mahler. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> You just gave an honest answer. It was <laughs> sickest burn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, let's get to soups. On that note. On, uh, on that bombshell. On that bombshell. Projector X, I wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> I do. Uh, nothing but love. Seriously, keep that show coming. <laughs> it's making me a fortune. Dude, yeah. I, I, we're at the stage of mockery. Uh, the the woke like anger. Like it's kind of we're way past that. Yeah. We're, way past, we're just laughing at like yeah. they made an they made another retarded thing. Do you believe these retards? Like <laughs> unbelievable. Well, we, we're at the stages of grief. Like we, we we're well into acceptance at this point. Oh yes. yeah, you oh, pass yeah. anger and you just hit that sort of point of um. Well, I don't I'm even woke. know what to call this. It's almost like a Jedi level of just stoicism. <laughs> imagine apathy, if they make apathy is the one. imagine yeah. if they make a captain marvel sequel and the marketing department saw that the the flurg and fucking uh tracked well the cat tracked well we need to put more cats in the next movie I that is exactly how corporation works yeah that that's, we can sell more cat toys that's <laughs> fucking fun the marvel black figures uh, just said, though, i'm pictured like a, a yoda like figure just zen and someone comes up to him and it's like this there's a new batman and he just goes like, gay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Christian Bell he is. <laughs> He's like, you know, all of the things that the, the, the Zed Jedi just goes, I see. <laughs> oh. This is the will of the force, I guess. This is the gay. <laughs> this is the gay. <laughs> Overuse intellectual hey, look, property. Made X Ray Girl laugh. Yeah. That was, that was, I actually stole that from Mahler. Not, not kill that. X Ray Girl. Oh, it's me. It's you. Rare merchandise. Mm. Oh, you got it with your, uh, my t shirts that you bought. What? Oh, you got some stickers. Huh? Uh, Make Marvel Gray again. X Ray Girl writing the D. How's yes. the D? Not <laughs> Hot, Hot D. D. Hot well, D. Technically, I was riding the, <laughs> the, the dragon. All, the I was riding wait, wait, the yeah. dragon. The you were riding the, the D. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Where are the X-ray girl riding the D-shirts? We missed that <laughs> completely. <laughs> <laughs> it was a limited run. Uh, you can find them on OnlyFans. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh, my. Put them. <laughs> uh, TJ has gifted five Nerdrotic memberships for $25. Thank you, TJ. <laughs> We had a, uh, what, did I just see like 9,200 people watching today? So thank you. Uh, oh, it was up at 9,300 before. Oh. Mm -hmm. We lost a few when I said rest and piss. Oh. Well, <laughs> that, that just weeds out the weaklings, man. We yeah. got, we got <laughs> them right back when X-Ray Girl was riding the D. So it's, yeah. it's all good. Oh, yeah. Now at 9.4. 9.4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, J-Mac for 200. Wow. Oh, Dude. Yeah. 
Thoughts on Daily Wire's uh, Bent Key Studios and their own Snow White trailer. I'm all for more media options and competitors, but I'm worried it will just be the same car, different coat of paint. I don't like the Avengers struggle session, but I don't want to see Snow White and the Seven Missionaries. Uh, I think... <laughs> I was speaking with Mauler about this uh, before the show. Yeah, uh, Mauler and I were having a chit-chat, and uh, we were talking about ideology and how it's <clears throat> well i was i don't want to talk from all Mola can talk for himself i was talking about how i I've, i just feel so apathetic to a lot of uh current day stuff because it's just been ideologically torn apart and then i did actually say <clears throat> about daily wire but i you know daily wire doing their stuff but i don't want a response to the thing because that is still going to be ideologically driven and, and, and in the same manner. It's just going to be trying to do the, the, the mirror image of it. I don't want that. I just want I just want regular stuff, regular normal stuff. And I think, Jay, Matt, you're hitting the nail on it. Agreed. Yeah, you don't I want say to let Rome burn. too far in another direction sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you thought about Rome, did you? Gundam. Yeah, you Rome. Now I am. No, me too. No, what oh, yeah, you, I forgot what Rome is bad. What do you say, Molly? What was that? Yeah, I was say you don't want to go too far in uh, opposite direction, like overcompensate and sort of thing. Yes, yes. So great, they're doing a response to Snow Brown and the seven uh, Seattle baristas. This I'm not interested. I'm not gender, interested in, in, in what, neutral. Yeah, I'm not interested in watching that fucking Snow White thing either. I still. But want you're gonna end up doing it. <laughs> I've always been saying the girl they cast looks like female Ben Shapiro, which I thought was she funny. died. But it's it's uh, Brett Cooper. Okay, so Brett Cooper is like she's good looking girl. She was in that candy commercial, right? And you see her, she looked better. Uh, like, dude, who? Oh uh, god, I'm gonna sound so gay. Politically correct. You have a no, no. With the wife, D yeah, she, she, whoever did her hair needs to be kind of fired. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the way to go. Just not. Not the way to go because now the memes have already started. <laughs> the comics division one from last night was the best. They put comics division's face. <laughs> I pissed myself because it didn't look that different. <laughs> so I... we saw the cop fight woke trash with cringe Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying, and that's good. We don't like that's that's our whole opinion. Uh, uh, okay, I, I don't want to speak for ass. <laughs> Outside of he likes man tits, but um, <laughs> just one day, just one Maybe, day. I went yesterday without roasting you on it. This I wasn't on a stream. Well, I, I went yesterday. Yeah, we did. I went yesterday. I okay, uh, like you know, independent content. There's a lot of independent content out there when it comes to films, when it comes to comic books. Um, you know, it's not something I'm really interested in. Like I'll, I'll read some of it. I'll enjoy it. But as far as like what I do on my channel, again, I'll speak for myself. I criticize pop culture. I criticize the machine, the multi-million dollar projects and stuff. I don't want to shit on an inter independent project. I really don't, you know, like, uh, no matter, like, even if it's fucking woke, it's just, it's because it's somebody starting out. It would be like somebody criticizing me on my first fucking video. You know, it's. Not super fair. I can give my honest opinion on it and stuff, but it's just not what I'm going for because what drives the independent stuff, what what keeps the independent stuff around are the big boys. Uh, you know what? Independent comics has been a scene that's been around forever. We are just seeing a different iteration of it, and it's pretty much always been the same. Always been the same. Uh, we're seeing new people move into it, which I think is really good, uh, but mm -hmm. it's independent because it's formless. And it creates something else, but you can't have the independent <laughs> market, right, Fluffy? Oh, you, you little can't, bastard! You can't have the independence without the big two. And I think that's why so many fans were trying to save Marvel and DC. They are unsavable. Mm. They are dead, and that's going to have repercussions on main on on American independent comics. Uh, and that's why, because you still need new readers. You need new young readers, which you're not. Mm getting what you need to try to get uh you and and you can get those young readers by writing good stories but and not writing stories for kids that's why manga is kicking american comics ass right now uh are they better oh yes uh 
they are they are than the current iteration, and you know why? Like My Hero Academia is just fucking your base. It's a basic superhero comic. That's all it is. But it's not the bullshit that we're getting from the mainstream. That's why it's kicking, and and American comics, independent, mainstream, lost two generations. Two. You don't come back from that. You don't come back from that. Lost one. Lost. I would say the vast majority of the millennials to video games, and you don't have Gen Z at all. And never will. So that, that's why they keep making everybody gay. Yeah. Well, they, they think that's Gen Z, but that's not Gen Z. <laughs> that that is a perception of Gen Z, right? That's not all of Gen Z. You know, I would say like millennials were actually a bigger problem than Gen Z, but that's just me. They 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 were kind of the precursor to all this stuff. In my generation, uh, they filled with disappointments. We'll just say that. Filled with disappointments. But uh yeah, yeah. So, Kind of a tangent. I just hope that the Daily Wire Snow White has the evil queen played by Dylan Mulvaney. That's all I want <laughs> this year for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I wish him all the luck in the world. Uh, but um, and and that 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 app that they showed with the kids' content that looked like a normal app. Like that didn't look like it was cheaply made or anything. That looked, I mean, professional. I'll say that. I'll say that. So I mean, and you got to try. And it's not going to be fucking perfect out the gate. It's not. It's it's going to be a huge process. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, hey, have you watched the amazing digital circus pilot on YouTube? It's an indie animation, and I have not seen it. And a little light on plot, but the characters and storytelling is better than anything Disney production. Any Disney production thoughts on? Though that's a low bar says paper cut koi for 20 Canadian pesos. Uh, I have not seen it. I'll check it out. Uh, but it is a low bar, quite frankly. It's such a low bar that I think everyone here who watched Loki after Ahsoka said, well, coming off of Ahsoka, Loki wasn't that bad because it had production design, emotion, had a couple of good actors. Yeah. yeah. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. No. <clears throat> it had actors trying to convey emotion. Okay. With I didn't get writing. a single fucking emotion yeah. from any of it. I didn't get an emotion either. I didn't, I didn't laugh. Uh, You're I, telling I, me Hayden and Christensen's Aniskin Skywalker talking like a Native American <laughs> character. Who? Who Skywalker? <laughs> Aniskin. <laughs> Aniskin. Aniskin. Aniskin Skywalker. I'm pretty sure I said <laughs> Anakin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anal you skin said it. I said anal skin. I think he said anal skin. I think he said anal skin. Oh, God. Listen, I probably have back some to that. Freudian slips that we should edit out of this video immediately. <laughs> Thank God it's not live. Uh, yeah. Uh, dude, don't worry. I, I do plenty of them, so don't worry about it. You're, you're amongst good people. Uh, no, apparently that episode that he showed in showed up in uh, Gundam that you could completely remove his scene from the series and it changes absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> Didn't help. Oh, except of course just preventing her death, which apparently Ezra did too, because that's always good. So uh, wait, did, so some of the baffled me about yeah, that she like scene. died and comes yeah, back. The that's how they did the Gandalf. He says thing. you lost a fight, and then she's like, "What?" And then he's, and then she says, "Balin's skull." And then he's like, "Oh, you do remember?" Like, like she'd lost her memory briefly of how she had died, and Anakin saved her. Which is just the worst thing ever. Why would you ever introduce Do that into your fucking lore? What? Well, I've lost any memory of the show. Uh, <laughs> what date did the I, episode five come Gandalf, out? I have no memory of this place. Uh, uh, what, what was the date episode five came out? Uh, it was September uh. 13th. Episode five came out September 13th. So here are the Nielsen's for oh, yeah. episode five. Should be good. Should it was supposed to, it was supposed to bump. Well, uh, One Piece <clears throat> is still in the original top ten. Um, it's a it's down at number nine. It's that's original. That's no. That's overall. That's overall. Uh, Suits is still overall. Uh, SWAT, Grey's Anatomy, and CIS. So let's go to original. Here, I'll share this. Sorry. It's all old. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need I need a vision. Here, here we go. X-ray girl, you can share. Unless I can see things, I just can't comprehend them. Okay. So here we go. 
There's one piece. Now go to original. What? Ahsoka, oh, Ahsoka bumped up to four. So uh -huh. Anakin come coming coming back gave it the the as predicted bump to number four, which it will um, now drop. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> but where was it? I think previous. it was seven. Right. The previous week, I think it was seven. Uh, still behind you one piece, by the way. Um, when we when we're done with the EFAP TV episodes, we I usually try and edit them all into one big video so people can watch them all in a row like that, or they can watch them separately. And I was thinking, what thumbnail should I make that best captures the season of Ahsoka? And at first, I was like, all right, I should try and just like some image of her with her lightsabers or something. That's probably best to put in the in the corner. And I was scanning through, and I was like, no, I'm just I'm just gonna put Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just Looking be him, tired. just him smiling. It's like that's all this fucking was. That's all anyone will remember. Ahsoka season one, Anakin. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wait, what? Like, but that's what it was. I, I had a the rest of them do. Yeah, they went. They went. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the last thing I saw last night. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, Maybe we, he, we need to fill the cookie jar up. I'm going to make an argument for weekly again. Um, one Piece, probably, I mean, one of the most well-received shows of the year. I think it's the best show of the year. Uh, it broke tons of Netflix records. If they had released it weekly, they would break you more. They would break. 110% correct on that. If they had released it weekly, and I had heard every week, this One Piece show is pretty cool. This One Piece show is pretty cool. This One Piece show is pretty cool. I'd be like, all right, fine. And then probably episode four, I would have like would have been out by the time I watched it, and then I'd start watching it weekly with other people, and we'd all talk about it. And then the finale would have hit episode seven and eight. They, they would there would have been streams for them. There would have been, been streams. Like, Let's talk about them because they were really good. So and... it, exactly, it gives you enough time to build like a quick following that will then react. Uh, that's why there's reaction channels out there. Genuinely. Uh, do reviews and stuff after each episode each week, creating a fervor. So this thing was big. And I'll make Sega Mart argument for Stranger Things and any other hit on Netflix. It would have been a bigger hit if it was weekly. Without yep. a fucking doubt. Without a doubt. That you'd you'd be talking about One Piece till the end of the year. Conversations already starting fading, and they faded in the ratings <clears throat> a little bit. Um Despite e even on September 11th, like people were still fucking talking about it, but it was already done. It was already done. Imagine that over the course of two months, eight episodes, two months, two months of buildup. So you release it September, it ends in October, and then the conversation. I'll just I'll be nice. Uh, uh, I'll go in a low estimate. We'll, we'll continue through November, through November. That's the same thing happened was the Mike Flanagan series is they all release one big chunk and Midnight Mass, from what I remember, people really liked it. And it got pretty highly promoted, but again, it all just drops on the same night. Drops on the same night, and it's a fart in the wind. And yeah, I, oh, I'm God. completely with you at this point. Yeah. I don't I can't I can't even see any argument judging from all the results of doing all at once. The only thing is it satisfies the people who want to see the show straight away, which is fine. I get it. But that's but, I mean, that, that's a whole other audience that you capture yeah. once the show has <clears throat> ended. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll grab them anyway. Yep, you'll grab them anyway. And there'll be more hype before it. So, uh, stupid. It's fucking retarded. Uh, and unsustainable. And and they'll they'll change their ways eventually. Well, because uh, they've they've experimented with changing their ways, right? Because mm -hmm. Stranger Things dropped in pieces, Arcane dropped in pieces. Like they must know, they, they must know. have. They've got the numbers. No, they do because the their reality shows are dropped. I think in two episodes per week right now with Love Is Blind, a show I watch. So you said that it is. Hmm? Disparu watch Big Brother. <laughs> oh, like well, unironically. Unironically, well, the, the British one. I'll I'll say the British one, the, the first the one, one, the real one, right? Isn't that the real one? Didn't it start? I think the American one was the first Dude, uh, one. For one, the UK mm. uh, is just they are the best at making reality pro programming. That they're, they're, they're the king right now. Yeah, and because Americans ruin it by stuffing it full of like sound production. effects and 
It's just all it's all just too overly produced. It is, yeah, but the, 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 also, British, the British know what true cringe is. The British okay? <laughs> you, you guys you guys are Shore. king of cringe and cheese, and I love you for it. Uh also you change the rules to where the producers can make more money. So for it makes them more innovative and they can license out their stuff to America. So you guys eased up those rules, and that's why the priority went to. Plus, it's cheaper to make. But the the producers of it were allowed to make more money, and uh, that gave them the incentive to make more. Uh, you you guys create two of the best, like reality shows ever. Grand Tour, it's British production. Clarkson's Farm. <laughs> well, don't forget like uh, Hell's Kitchen, like the. That's the... pretty fucking good too. The UK versions, I way prefer to the American ones. Yep. So much more raw. Dude, how many reality shows do you, like, repeat watch? Like, Top Gear, I've watched all the specials, like, four or five times each. We wouldn't we wouldn't class Top Gear as a reality show. Well, not... Not um, quite, no. Because well, it is still scripted to like a decent documentary degree. It's very... Style. They did... Hey, they did one unscripted. Uh, not Top Gear, but it was a uh, Grand Tour. That's the thing. I I love their work no matter what. I don't care if it's scripted or not. Uh, obviously, yeah. they script as a vehicle to like create scenarios in which their chemistry it's will then. It's called the unscripted on Amazon Prime. At least Clarkson's <laughs> Farm is okay. Oh, so Clarkson's I Farm, I believe, is one hundred percent genuine. I <laughs> I could believe that easily. Uh, and by no, the way, no, no, Top Gear that was recently cancelled. Yeah, by the yeah. Fuck, I would say Top Gear, but it's Grand Tour. Grand oh, Tour. Did the, Grand Tour is very scripted. I doubt that uh, Hammond got in a genuine accident, and then uh, and then they got in the Falcon small little car <laughs> and took out the ambulance in the last one on Euro Crash. Oh yeah, that <laughs> that no, but you can tell which ones are the real ones because we hear about it in the news before we see it yep, in the show. Yep. Didn't the Top Gear guy get in, like in a horrific accident? Like uh... Richard Hammond did. No, no, like the, oh, the... Freddie Flintoff. Yeah, Freddie. Yeah, Freddie. Flintoff Freddie Flintstone. Freddie Flintoff. Yes. He's real. No, as Freddie Flintstone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who's yes, Freddie? Yeah. Who's Freddie Flintoff? He used to be a cricketer. Former former cricketer, England he's, cricketer. He he. What, what he hunt crickets? Yes. Yeah. Okay, he's a cricket hunter. <laughs> okay. The the cricket whisperer. The cricket whisperer. It's also big in Australia. Freddie Flintoff or Cricket? Hey, uh, uh, I, cricket. Forgot, I forgot his name, but uh, uh, a former professional soccer player started following me on Instagram. A soccer Footballer. player. Oh. Who? Soccer player, yeah. Who? Uh, I forgot his name. Rumbo Gustavus? <laughs> oh. Mo Stop. Melissa can tell you. <coughs> Lionel not... Messi. That yeah. was that. <laughs> Ronaldo. 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 No, I was Ronaldo. Gonna say Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. my God. Hang on. It's like... Uh -oh. His name is father, Porn Stars followed me. Father something. His last name is weird. It's Father something. Ronaldo? <laughs> Beckham. David Beckham. Father Beckham. This is definitely Pele. Daddy Beckham. <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> I'm asking my wife. It's not too soon. That joke was perfectly timed. <laughs> oh my God. So what did the chat put? Rapino? <laughs> yeah, Megan Rapino. Megan Rapino, the face of soccer, the angry lesbian face of soccer. <laughs> yeah, the angry, <laughs> the angry lesbian face of female. You know, you know, my wife's cousin is a soccer announcer. Yes. Yeah, Allie Wagner. That's my wife's cousin. Uh, Edward Boyet. Uh, is it Boyert or Boyette the third? It, uh, I, Boyert, I think. Huh? I'm not sure. What are you asking? Hi, uh, you're the woman. You're the uh, one who pointed it uh, out. English is my like, no woman? third oh. language. <laughs> English is my no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Me no. Me no English. Me no language. <laughs> 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 me sit here, look pretty. Follow oh. Oh my no, apparently I just put who is soccer who followed. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so funny if Google went, What the fuck are you asking yeah. me? <laughs> Google, who is soccer that followed? Uh, what the fuck? She's like, What are you talking about? You having a stroke? <laughs> Edward Boyette Boyert the third for fifty dollars. Sorry I screwed up your last name. 
I appreciate all of you, especially from Gary Asmaller and Gundam. You all have brought me so much joy in this ass backwards world. X-Ray Girl, you're cool. Thank you for helping me through some tough times. Thank you. You're welcome, Edward. Thanks, brother. I'm sorry you're going through tough times. You know what? In all seriousness, X-Ray Girl is pretty cool. Unflappable. That's what I like. We give her a lot of shit, and she's like, whatever. And, like, she hangs out with us, toxic, yeah, ma are. toxic males, and doesn't give a fuck. I We're appreciate that. not a fan that. of flaps here is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I like these white people. And, uh, yeah. Oh, she still has no What's the price of cock? Cock? Uh, Sheev Burger for $49.99. Feige took over late in the Infinity Saga. He actually took over during Civil War. Uh, Russo's already on board and ready to stick the landing. And since that, there's since then there's only been a dis, uh, the only decent stuff has been Spiderman from Sony and Guardians Gun, which was a holdover. You are correct. He's the Kathleen Kennedy of Marvel Studios. I said that. Uh, uh, I said that two years ago and got a lot of shit for it. But I said Marvel, the Marvels is going to flop two years ago and got a lot of shit for it. And uh, that's just the way of things on the internet. But you're right. He is the Kathleen Kennedy. But at least um, with his specific franchise, he had he was part of the success uh, of that franchise. That's the only difference. Kathleen Kennedy was a producer who succeeded under, you know, Spielberg with other people, but when she was elevated to another position, she was utterly fucking terrible at it from day one and has been for 10 years and kept her job because she's got teats and because she knows Steven Spielberg. Uh, Josh Kelsey has dropped 1999, just walked away. Walked away. Chad. M has dropped twenty dollars on the Streamlab side. Lord, Lord Longbong of Mew Blinkton Abbey is. <laughs> is there any chance of a Kong Fap of Skull Island: Rise of Kong? So L Lord Longbong of Mew Blinkton Abbey is this? <laughs> Yeah, you, you're almost Mew there. Blinkton. You got it. Mew Blinkton. Yeah. Like Mew 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 Blinkton. Mew Moves. Like, I like, like, like Moves. Like what, what uh, As likes? Moves? Moves? Wait, wait. Mahler, are you Moves Lord of Moves Longball? are different. What's Mew Blinkton Abbey? <laughs> so, it's, it's my humble home or one of my yeah. holiday homes. Okay. Mew Blinkton Abbey. Okay. Okay. Uh, it will be a gaming fap for the ages. Also, as please don't play it for your own sanity. No, you got. I'm playing. Play I'm, oh, I'm having the stream set up. You'll be playing it before I play it. <laughs> Nine thirty tonight. Less than half an hour. Oh, I've got it set up. As soon as this finishes, I'm making a coffee. I'm coming back and I'm starting it. Boom. Uh, Michael, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I tried to type something to my wife, and it came out. <laughs> It says, it says uh, she's like, no idea. And I wanted to say, you're the one who pointed him out. <laughs> it turned out you, <laughs> you pointed Kim. <laughs> what? I don't even know what Is I Is that wrote. English? It says, you point him Kim cut. <laughs> <laughs> I do that on Twitter all the time, dude. Shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's like, I'm not going to talk to this retard anymore. <laughs> He's obviously dying upstairs. <laughs> uh, Michael Wynn for nineteen ninety nine. You smell toast? Uh, a little bit. A little. Or bit. lemons? Uh, lemon toast. I smell lemon toast. Uh, oh. Huge fan. What you uh, watch? You guys on the road all the time. Hail. Are you driving and watching us? Be careful. Uh, thanks for keeping it real. Don't change. On. Oh, and hit X ray goo for me one more time. Don't don't hit her. I just, I, he meant the button. Oh. That's Mark's job. Uh, that, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> the pressure is on after at Chrissy. Unless you want I me know. to just like hit her. Oh, please wow. don't. I'm delicate. Members of the real BBC do not support. Wait, I've got an idea. <laughs> Didn't like that, okay? So, sorry, Mahler, what was that again? Please say that again. Oh, 
Just, just, just. I was just gonna do a little PSA about domestic violence. But you cut it off with a great scene from a great movie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. And we've recorded them. We oh, have. and they're gonna come out in 2025. 20, 2025. It's all there. It's all there. We recorded them last year. <laughs> so when are we doing Team America and? Uh, well, and others because we got. I assume we got to do top secret. Top, top secret, secret first. Airplane, airplane, gun, airplane, airplane two. two. Because I missed the airplane one one. The, the airplane yes. one one. The, I missed the airplane one one, but I'm coming <laughs> back for the airplane two one. <laughs> okay. And top secret, and Austin Powers, and the Naked Gun trilogy. Thirty three and a third. Watched it in theaters. <laughs> yeah. Is this some kind of bust? Yes, it's very impressive. You know, if we review that, is that uh, Illuminati guy going to come back and say they reviewed Naked Gun 32? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably self deleted himself, yeah. to be honest with uh, you. Know. Kylo 10 for 200 Martian pesos. An AED, whatever an AED. Uh, in the pro. <clears throat> Oh, is it Arab Emirates pesos? Okay. In the yep. process of leaving the Mideast, heading back to the U.S., thanks for the great videos to give me uh, something else to focus on. Been awesome seeing the videos from everyone, but especially Mahler's long forms. There you go. My what? Your long forms. Oh, my six-hour voice. Likes it. That's just long. a regular video. That's a regular yeah. video. It's not a long form. Normalize long. It's just... Normalize long. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. For different reasons. We agree. Hardcore. For completely wow. different reasons. Size I'm, queen. I'm for minutes watched, and she's a size queen. <laughs> Penis. The longer, the better. It's, uh, <laughs> yes. Argonother, uh, Argonother name? Did I, is that supposed to be like the pillars of Argonoth? Arg- and I, yeah, maybe. Argonother that. name? <laughs> she got a fucking clue what you're talking about, Gary. I know, she doesn't. But it says Argonoth. So, <laughs> Argonaut, her name for 1999. By the way, re uh, listening to, not reading, listening to Lord of the Rings, read by Andy Circus. It's fucking amazing, dude. It Have is... you finished it? No, no, I'm like, uh, okay. So, I'll re- I get about a half a chapter in, then I fall asleep. So, I, got, I try to remember when I fell asleep. So, it goes very slowly. I am going on a uh, a trip soon. I'll probably finish it on my trip. Mm. I'm going to go on a trip soon. It's called Skull Island. Yep. The Rise Echo, of Kong. The Echo <laughs> Show has one foot in the grave already. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh. Gary Mercado for $20 says, any thoughts on the Marvels and the awful predicted performance and how having Muslim main character being in the movie in the climate will uh, further destroy the box office performance? It depends on, well, I don't think it might, I, I don't know if that affects like it, Israel, Israeli box office is, is inconsequential. I think that affects the India box office. I think having a Pakistani Muslim character in India would be a bigger problem. I made a video on it. I stated it all in that very sarcastically. I think basically the media has turned into haters by turning into turning on their masters that they a hill that the access media literally died on. And that's why everybody's getting paid like five dollars an article. Oh, that's overpaid as it's probably like a buck fifty an article. If it's not uh, written by AI. If it's not free. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, a lot of them are. <laughs> a lot of a lot of websites. Don't pay anybody. They're just like, you can, you know, get some exposure. Paid for in exposure. In exposure. But uh, my video breaks it down that basically the access media has turned into a bunch of bigots. High frequency productions for $19.99. Cheers. It says Daily Wire can win the Snow White War not by making conservative Snow White, but by keeping the source material as it is. And I think that's what they'll do. I don't think they're going to make like... I don't think they're going to seven dwarves are going to be sitting around. Not that this is a conservative position, but let's just say they sat around and said taxation was theft. You know? Don't, don't, don't right. use it to my ears. Now, I like the sound of that. Yeah, I do too. Do something different. Do something original. Stop playing based off of the stuff. Come on. It's just, you know, <clears throat> yeah, boring. I, yeah. Boring. I, I, I think it being just a reaction comes off yeah, as kind of just a reaction instead of yeah. like, here's a different fairy tale that we're just going to tell accurately. 
Or Hans Zach. and Gretel, do something if you want yeah. to do a fairy tale. And then keep that close to the, the Brothers Grimm. And all but them. it did oh, help them great. get headlines with the launch of their other app, right? So that was the whole purpose of it, was to, to get headlines. Uh, Hollywood's going to meme them. They know it. And it's going to drive people to their app and make them more money. It was a very strategic, and I, I wouldn't say dumb move at all, but that's what it is. But, yeah, if uh, you know, Terror on the Prairie was a just a movie, right, with Gina Carano. It was just a movie, just a Western, right? It wasn't politically motivated or anything like that. Nick Searcy was good in it. The guy's a great actor, dude. Um, So do more of that. Do that all day long, and I'm fine with it. But just being a political reaction, I agree with you guys. It's just, it's not, that's not how you change anything. You know, there, there's, you, you become a subcategory. That will work, by the way. There's Christian movies that, that make a lot of money. But if you really want to change the culture and change everything, you got to change. Uh, you, you either have to have Hollywood, which is an institution change, uh, by any means necessary at this point, and 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 it looks like that's being caused by losing money. It's not by they they thought they did anything wrong, and what I mean any business means necessary, whatever people take that wrong, I don't care. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't change the culture overnight. You just don't. Uh, Hail Legends Gundam, we need you on open bar soon. What was this show not good enough, Joshua? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm wherever I'm needed, so uh, people rarely need me. Let's go into the real BBC <laughs> to the guest that we've <laughs> got back and say to him, go on another show. <laughs> <laughs> go on another show. Hi, Gundam. <laughs> Weston 487 for $10. Gundam! Just says Gundam. Bubba Doom for $5. Says Papa Gundam and Dan Vash should collaborate and do some music together. Ooh. That would be cool. That would be... Uh, the makings of something epic. That would be cool. Mm. I'm working on returning to music because YouTube sucks. I'm Get so happy ready for the return of Ziggy Stardust. Hell oh, yeah! Wow. Did by me. Uh, Aurora Uplink says, "I am so happy. It's a Gundam is here." I just realized. Was that three hours into the show? Kind of like when I realized <laughs> Chrissy Mayer was gone. Uh, Dark Where's Chrissy. Uh, Darkest Erection. I missed Papa Gundam. <laughs> Uh, that comes from Le Chevalier du Lys. Lys. I immediately got too high and I'm tripping so far out. Uh, the BBC is better with its Gundam. I purchased my fluffy figure for its sole purpose that you will use the funds to troll DSP. To troll DSP. That is <laughs> part of the you. tagline. Yes. D-Roy for four ninety nine. Uh, Dave Filoni's dog. Hi, it's a Gundam. It seems almost uh, as he seems almost. You seem almost depressed as me. We should have lunch together and discuss our mutual woe. You can talk about the girls you've who've hurt you, and I can talk about the Dave who puts things in me. That Dave is Filoni's a very dog. astute dog. It is. Uh, Gundam, did you get the drawing I made you? I drew a wonderful picture of you. All you guys are totally slaying it, Queens, says Tanneru for four ninety nine. Did you get a picture drawn? No, of I you? didn't get a picture. Where was it sent? To the P.O. box, or was it like? Emailed to me or something. That's oh, I guess we can't get a reply. Tenaru, Tenaru, you can reply in chat. Uh, Lance for, uh, says, Thank God Gundam hasn't ended it. I agree. A Japanese demon lord, hey Gundam, you need to do more manga and anime uh, videos. You two, as get ahead of it. I don't see Gary doing it anytime soon. Love you, Gary. I, I just fucking did one. I'd absolutely love to, but there's this problem where I'm the only editor. And it has been slowly killing me while companies yell at me to produce more. Killing me slowly. I do have um, with my <clears> editing some streams on my channel uh, where I talk uh, Cowboy Bebop, the anime, um, Ninja Scrolls, the anime, uh, Classic. Perfect Blue. Um, I, think though, I think there might be another. But uh, yeah, I did a. It was called Awesome Anime. Yeah, there's some 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 anime content for you there. What people want is us reviewing those dirty dolls you find ass. I think that's uh, what <laughs> children are clamoring that's, for. That's the one-to-one one yeah. scale. I'm not talking about I, anime. 
Yeah, they're talking about one to one thief, but just your one to one action figures that aren't your girlfriends that you don't talk to and have long conversations about at night. Tifa Lockhart's feet but are dying to meet my meat. <laughs> I sent it's a Gundam some awfully fluffy selling advice, says Aurora Uplinks for two dollars. <laughs> Fat Geralt Falcone Punch for two dollars says Papa Gundam. What is your opinion on uh G Gundam? Uh, G Gundam, I've warmed up to after watching The Witch from Mercury. <laughs> okay, now we got to go on that note. I had to slide that one in before we left for ads. Kiss and foot jobs, the Gundam story. <laughs> she said, <laughs> It's all hips and neat nips, otherwise, I don't need <laughs> Wow. Uh, ass. <laughs> I already know, but yeah. what do you got coming up? Uh, in 15 minutes, I will be playing uh, the new Gollum, apparently. Uh, Skull Island, Rise of Kong, Silverback will be playing King Kong in what looks like an atrocious piece of crap. 15 minutes on my channel, be there or be uh, heterosexual. Yeah, you uh, bigot. Bigots. <laughs> Mahler. What do you got coming um... up? Depending on how As goes with that, I'll probably be streaming that too, and then I can <laughs> pretend to blame him as I stream it uh, the whole time. Um, other than that, I've been playing through Lords of the Fallen, and uh, well, EFAP continues as normal, and uh, nothing really else to mention. Um, obviously, the the compilation of all the Ahsoka reactions will be coming out soon as well on Moolah, if you wanted to see them. Awesome. Moolah. Gundam, what do you got coming up, buddy? Um, I guess more videos being edited. Who the hell is the Sniper Wolf? People want that. I'm still oh, working on God. Ahsoka. Uh, there could be something else going on. The fluffy figure. The more you buy, the less likely YouTunes will beat the shit out of me later. <laughs> and I quote, it is in your best interest to meet the sales figures. God, what kind of deal did you <laughs> sign? I don't know. I probably should have read it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, He's so cute. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta we'll get you back Gundam sooner. Plushy, when? Come I, on! I apologize Gundam to Gundam and the audience that it took so long. To oh, it's perfectly fine, dude. I was supposed to be here with a 3D avatar, the revolutionary new Gundam, a, a interactive cartoon mm -hmm. moving at all times. But everything has gone off the rails, including the fluffy figure. I could be dead in nine days. I'd say ask Lofty, but. <laughs> But then you'd have to talk to Lofty. So, <laughs> never mind. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants uh, Gundam, love you, man. I love you too, man. You're like the classic guys I used to hang out with at the guitar shops that inspired me to be a musician. Then they'd immediately go, you're born in the wrong time. <laughs> born in the wrong time. <laughs> we all were. Okay. Yeah. I blame. Yeah, Cern. they gave us the cruel one where they were like, "Hey, isn't this neat?" And we we're like, "Yes." And they're like, "Bye." Late. <laughs> Have fun. Listen to Taylor Swift every day, all day. <laughs> while the world burns. watch Disney Plus while the world world burns. <laughs> and then if you say it's bad, people on Twitter tell you you're a bigot. Yeah. And heteronormative. They do anyway. They do anyway. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. That's your problem. Uh, Exodus. Go. Ooh, uh, I have Chris Gore coming on Dadcast at 6 p.m. So that's in an hour and 40 minutes. Um, and I will not be playing the King Kong game. It looks um, too hard for me. So, yeah. King Kong got too hard, huh? Stop making that face. I heard that too, As, and I'm just like <laughs> leaving it alone. I think we've done enough today. Okay. okay. He held it in. He held you it know in. what? <laughs> I was shocked. Uh, that was like a good line for you. I'm disappointed. He I'm showed disappointed. so much restraint. That's what she said. <laughs> it's just been too much. It's been too much. <laughs> too much. Uh, all right. I just released a video, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Come. game. I'm gonna play Return of the King on my PS2. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong, wrong with that, dude. Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. play Adobe. Hey. Adobe. Adobe. 
Adobe it's Photoshop. One premiere fun game ever. Premiere, you're gonna play editing my video for the next two two days. <laughs> Adobe yep. Premiere. Yeah. yeah, I know that one. Well, they need I to give to. Like, achievements to this shit. <laughs> no, because then I have to give achievements no to my editors. Uh, yeah, no, no, they get. You know what? Pay. That's your fucking achievement. That's all you get. He'll print up like a, a worker of the month program or something. <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, hey, thanks to the mod rotics. You guys do a great job. Thanks uh, to everyone who left super chat donation. The uh, next square up will be on nerd rotic live from Palm Springs. Probably Saturday, probably Saturday. We'll hit the real BBC. We've got to hit uh, a nooner and a real BBC from last time on that one too. Yay. Yay. Uh, so thanks again, everyone. Uh, we will catch you later. God bless us, Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Puppy say bye. Oh, never mind. Keep, oh. keep saying bye. There's two of them. Bye. Oh, there's two of them. Rocco says bye. <laughs> He's like, I'm awake. Yeah. What? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh you. Oh. We will leave you. My dog oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a oh, you good boy. Ooh, My good dog boy. wanted to live. Gary, some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadence, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast f and Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com Use discount code NERDROTIC. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. <laughs> oh bloody hell I'm waiting for it to end there we go